Christmas book from me Let's put on comfy Christmas sweaters and just fighter in the world was fighting and yeah uh, he went the distance so it went a lot longer than i expected <clears throat> but 
My man won, and now it's time to uh, kick some ass on some game shows. Uh, ah, hello, Viego. My man. My dude. My guy. Ready to answer some uh, trivia questions or not? Yes, sir. Got six different games that we could possibly play. Got me a little wheel here. It's going to select the first game. Instead of figuring out an order. Since there's six games, I don't think I'm going to get through all of them in one night. So, Yeah, there's audio. Shut up. But, uh, <laughs> almost had me fooled. But, yeah, so, uh, let's, uh, find out on our little wheel here. The six different games, Trivial Pursuit, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Family Feud, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and MTV's Remote Control. So, let's find out. And first up, Family Feud. Look at that. Very nice. So, let's get the family feud loaded up. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. way i was playing millionaires the other day trying to unlock some of the categories and stuff didn't do a very good job There we go. Okay. Hey, Rick. A frog? No, it's boxing gloves. So it's a box. And then I got boxing gloves necklace. I can Rocky Bubble. Or more specifically, Rocky Five. <laughs> Let's see here. Seems like the internet's holding up so far, so that's good. There it goes. It's loading up. Goddamn modern technology. They could go faster. But no. Fuck Rocky Five. I like Rocky Five. It's probably the worst of all of them, but I still enjoy it. <clears throat> There's not a bad one in fucking. Yeah, the, the new the new director's cut. I see what he was doing, and he did clean up the fights really nice. The sound was great. Uh, I love how the uh, Apollo and Drago fight with more extended. And, uh, Creed didn't go out like a complete bitch like he did in the original cut. But yeah, it was just weird because it was a new director cut with 40 minutes from there before seeing footage in it. Yet it was still the same length of the original cut, so they took out a lot of shit. It was weird. I'll definitely buy it though when it comes out. New setup. Still figuring for that here. Mm -hmm. 
No, I did not have an Ubisoft. go through around and if the internet struggles then I will connect it to my hotspot. That should help. I should have just added in the new extended scenes and just made a longer movie. Yeah, that's what I was kinda hoping he was doing. But I mean I didn't mind him taking out the robot. That robot is pretty stupid. Polly's fucking birthday present. There's my handsome ass. Hiya. Hey player, what well, him? Always make it like my brother. Hiya. Uh, blondie here. Let's get some diversity up in this bitch. Hi. One big happy family. Give me a furries. Yeah, on the diff different difficulty. We'll, we'll rank up the difficulty. And hopefully win all three. Thank you, the AOL connecting center, right? Oh, wow. I, I unlocked one. So we'll start easy and we'll go until we lose. Hopefully, we can make it to very hard. Battle the toughest team of few men. Let's, let's, let's warm up with a little easy. And if she's easy, take her twice. Hello, the viewers. Looks like there's a couple of you that are not chatting. But that's okay. Dr. Michael's in the house. It's late o'clock. It's late o'clock. That's what we just said. Do you really know what time it is? All right. I'm your friendly neighborhood game show host. Lucky McCoy. I remember you. Guess what? We've got two families ready to play. Yeah, you do. This family are looking to take home the jackpot today. Phase diverse family. Please welcome the Lee family. Oh, fuck the Lees. I remember the Lees. Our two teams must guess the most popular answers to our survey questions. Whichever team does the best will compete in Fast Money, where they could win our grand prize of $20,000. I just Fasten keep checking the quality in and make sure it's all working. I'll make sure I don't have to do anything different. I do have plans B, plan B. Let's kick things cheating. off with our first round. All right, give me two people. Stretch your stuff, hey baby. That's exactly how I stretch too. We've got four answers to find. I'm going to ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what I get, it lucky. Top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name something twins might share while growing up. You're in first. What you got? Clothes. Good answer. Hey, right, good answer. Confidence. The survey says. Not on this. Clothes. I think the. Medium difficulties to the fairies, answer. if I remember correctly. You won the face off, so tell me, play or pass? Shoes, wouldn't you think? Shoes count as clothes? Maybe not. Family feud is weird. We're going to play, play, Lucky. You're going to play. All right, I'll you're draw right. Draw shoes, though. Okay, why not? I don't know what else you'd fucking share with each other. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not a twin. 
Okay, then. Let's see if it's up there. Toys room. Shoe. Yeah, I guess she's kind of close. Put a dent in your game. See, so yeah, I'll do uh, room next. Room sounds like a good one. You're up. What you got for me? <clears throat> Can't have separate bedrooms for the twins. They don't deserve it. Oh, they don't play ever. All right. Is that one of the remaining answers? Room. Bedroom number yes. two. Good job. Yes. Two answers remain. Las Vegas. Toys. For all the gay girls and boys. Sure thing. Is it up there? Toys. Ding. Ooh, the board is almost clear. Number three, what? Hmm. I haven't really been thinking. <laughs> Need to pay attention. Name something twins might share while growing up. DNA. I'm going with food. All right, let's try it. Our survey said. Pet. Maybe. Food. Ah, that's a hell of a vibrator. <laughs> Pet. I bet you've got a great we'll go answer for us. I mean, what the? You're not gonna share a toothbrush. That's fucking gross. I don't care if these are ten. Ten. Twin. <laughs> Twenty. Twin. Twin. Wow. Is this the last answer we're looking for? That's what she said. No. Nope. Well, hopefully the Lee family. Could not to read the board. Oh, I just went stereotype. All we need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. Dig deep. Give me a correct answer. And Dig you deep, motherfucker. Points from the other team. When your shades inside, and your suspenders, and your music. All right, oh, a womb. Time to check the board. That's Whoa. not bad. Ah, thank God. I was gonna say, man, that, that might be it. <laughs> sure, man. That's a good answer. Family looks like. What's number There's three? Only one answer left over. What was the third answer? Genitals. Friends. I don't like that answer. Fuck Let's that. see how the scores look. I know many twins to where one will be on, like in the skater group. I'm not gonna say who I'm rooting for. Going to, like the preppy but their group. Their initials. I've are... seen it a couple times. Grow up. They don't share porn. Round two. Boy. It's time for another face-off. I need two players down in front. Get it, Mark. And shake with the ear pod that that was bleeding out the fucking We're ear. We're looking for seven answers this time. Uh, seven answers, holy Alrighty fuck! Alrighty then. All right. Buzz in first to get a shot at the top answer. Let's go. We asked one Yell at me, people lucky. this question: Name something you'd hate to be on when it breaks down. You're up first. What do you got? Elevator. It's the first thing that came to my head. Elevator. I almost pushed the wrong button. You sure I always got to double check the button before I push it. I want to see that answer. Elevator. The boat. That's correct. That was with a Damn. Capital K, which means it's there. But there's really watch too many one. movies. What's your answer? Name something you'd hate An to be on when it breaks down. Car, boat, airplane. Which one is your boat? Got which it. One is, <laughs> is that answer good enough? Is their face off? Whoa. God damn it! It's not the number one answer, but that'll do it. But they still fucking get the player pass. What's it gonna be? Pass it. Rejoin your family and let's get started. Damn it! Well, let's see what the Lee family's got to offer. Time for your guess. Cause now they're all just coming right into our heads. Yeah. Yeah. Right 
car, that boat, plane, answer. ski lift. Our survey said rocket. A rocket? Really? You failed to find an answer, which means you get your first. That's why they put you on the easy difficulty, Lee family. And now it's your guess. Yeah. They're gonna get all the rest of these five of them. Escalator. <laughs> no. Show me that answer. Escalator. Uh, then they just turn into right. steps. <laughs> you just walk down those motherfuckers. Oh. Name something you'd hate to be on when it breaks oh. down. If it turns into a slide, you just slide down. Okay. Oh, ski sure. lift. Oh, we heard you. Did our survey say it? Ski lift. Uh, oh. I got bad news, folks. That's three you strikes. Lose Lee family. There's an opportunity to steal here. <clears throat> One answer will do it. And they can steal airplane. the round. Because if that shuts down, give me an answer. Dead. And if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one, and uh, it's like, well, oh, you know. turn on the hazards. <laughs> Airplane, the plane. It's worth a shot. Sure, Time it's at least up there. If it's up there. Airplane. Number one. <laughs> we were looking for. So I got the number one and the number seven. Life support system. You're racking up Roller the rounds. Here. Car, what but, were our leftover answers? This is the sixth which, most popular answer. All on there. See what's not on there. Train. Train. Yeah. The fourth answer. Roller coaster. Hey, look at that. Roller coaster's up there. Show me the third answer. Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. What that could be romantic. Number two. Bus. A bus. All right. Here's how things are shaping well, up so far. No boat. Boat was not on there. Hope you all can get some points on the board next time. But round. a bus. That makes a whole lot of sense. Get your game faces on because it's time for the face off. Who wants to play? Oh, Get over here. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. With your little face off joke, I do you think they do a face off joke on here. But we're not Nick Cage. The top four answers are on the board. Only four answers this time. Whoa, things are getting hot in here because the points in this round are doubled. Well, then let's take off our clothes. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. Name an occupation where there's no room for error. Think you got something? Accountant. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. Well, they kind of count as accountant. Probably not. I probably okay. just fucked that up. I just What did up. our survey say? Wow. I'm not in this survey. Doctor. Oh, yeah. Uh, at it. Doctor. See if you can do better. <laughs> Name an occupation where there's no room for error. Pilot. Understood. True. Fuck. Let's see if you're right. Pilot. Damn it. Damn it. All right. The answer is on the board. Construction. Let's make yeah. up your mind time. Pass or Still play. Still tougher than that. Uh... They're all saying pass. The other team chickened out on this one. Ah, chicken shit. Chicken shit, chicken shit, chicken shit. So wait, wait, I'm going to go doctor. Guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Oh. Almost to dockyard. Okay. Will that be one of the missing answers? I Don't think nurse and vet would still be... Wow, that's the way to answer. New construction. We're still looking for two more answers. Oh, you chill out, girl. You gotta answer the question. Cop.
Yes. Is that one of the That's ones you're looking for? That's not a bad answer. Construction. <laughs> it isn't there. First strike. Underwear model. You've still got this. I know it. Yeah, room for error on that one. Because then you can start a fashion sense if you blow a hole through your Two undies. more answers up there. What do you think? That's what you think, huh? Let's see if that's a correct that's answer. That's what you think, huh? We need Steve Harvey on this bit. No? Nope. You're allowed to have errors as a cop. getting ready if I were you. I'm medicated. <clears throat> I'm going to need your guess. Oh. Hmm. Try that. Got it. Show me the answer. Damn. That's three strikes and you're out. That's kind of a tough one. We could be about to witness. Lots of you're allowed to have an error. You're only human. It takes just one answer to steal and take home the points. If they get it, we're fine. Name an occupation where there's no room for error. Dentist. Interesting answer. Do we have a right answer? Dentist. X. Ah. <laughs> That's not it. Can't be making these kind of errors though as the level of difficulty goes up. Whoa. So this is why this Look is a good practice. Ahead. We've got some answers to go through. Number four. Por favor. Por favor. Bomb disposal. Bomb disposal. <laughs> the number three answer. Air traffic, Air traffic controller. controller. Never Let's would have guessed either one of those. Scores. It's not exactly occupations. I think that's right. Three in a row, that. but it could all change in this next round. Triple points. Let's play another game. 243 to nothing. Let's get someone from each family down in front. So if they do by miracle get it, hopefully it's they don't get enough points accumulated. Gatorade oh. 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 make me burp. There are four answers you need to find. <laughs> Triple points in play now. You better make sure your answers count. No oh, shit. We got 100 people to answer the following question. When you're traveling in your car, name something you have to stop for. You're up. Stop sign. That's what you're going with? Let's see if it's there. Not even up there. No. So go ahead and Can run you those find signs. The top answer? It's still up there. When you're uh, traveling in an animal, home, name something you have to stop for. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm thinking Let's of like literally board. like applying the brake for food. <laughs> oh, it's not there. It's up to you now. When you're traveling in your car, name something you have to stop for. Gas, yep. lucky. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Flat yes. tire, police. Good answers. Looks like you finally struck gold. You're on the board. Don't have to stop for drug dealers. Play or pass? We're going to play. Okay, rejoin your family and we'll get things started. I'll go with police. It's your turn to guess. Feeling lucky? Gotta stop for them pow pow. And our survey says police. Damn. All right. Uh oh, it's not there. 
and that means you've got yourself a strike. Flat tire. Hey there, looks like it's your Animal. turn. Okay. It's up for a flat. Answer accepted. Survey says flat. Oh. Ouch! That's your second strike. Bathroom. Oh no. Got go the animal. For me? So maybe it also does mean that we stop. And then move. Okie dokie. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Still have an answer up there. God damn. Ooh, that's your third strike, folks. Oh, it's time for the other right. team to have a crack at this. Stop for children running in the middle of the fucking street. All we need is one answer. Skull crossing, yeah. <laughs> steal around. Same, same concept. When you're traveling in your car, school bus, name something you have to stop for. Red Here light. we go then. That should be in part of the signs. Our survey says. God damn it. <laughs> That's what we want. <sighs> it's a win over here. But there's Let's only one correct answer. Missing. You're going to get a whole lot of points. It's time to reveal the fourth answer. Bathroom. Bathroom. Good job. Show me the number Good job. three answer. Pedestrians. Pedestrians. But not animals. Fuck them animals. So, where are we with the scores? It ain't over yet. We need one more round. Oh, it's pretty lopsided, things. though. They're like, lucky. The winning team needs to hit 300 points. It's time to decide this game. Let's fly in the face of danger and play sudden, play sudden death. death. I want two people to join me over here. Come on, Lively. We just want the number one answer. Sudden death. Let's go. Whoever I'm, buzzes I'm in just, first gets buzz a shot in and finding the answer. Out. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a chance. We took a survey. 100 people. Grandma used to be a hairdresser until she accidentally cut off someone's what? You're first. What's your answer? Hair. Good. Okay. Is cut it hair? <laughs> hair. Here. Damn. Oh, dear. All right. So then let's here. Hear. Yeah. Fuck me. Don't Grandma get it. used to be a hairdresser until she accidentally cut off someone's what? Hair band. That's good. I don't think that's going to cost you a job. Hair band. Yeah. Nada. What do you think? All right. I'm going with here. Grandma used to be a hairdresser until she accidentally cut off here. someone's what? Does that, I mean, does that really happen often? I mean, come on. Ah, uh, yes. Air pass. Let's see if that's a good answer. Ear. We're 80 out of 100 people said ear. You've won. It's a good thing I've been coming out here for the last Now you're playing fast minutes. money. Time to say so long to the leaves. That was a little too close for comfort. And this is supposed to be on the easy difficulty. <laughs> Not gonna go the whole thing. But I've been. <laughs> it's time to go for the big no in fast money. We need another contestant to join our team. I think I have to have a look a little. Cut You'll need to on team up with your best player. Who's it gonna be? <clears throat> it's gonna be me. I'm the best. Oh, I'm gonna. Need I'm just kidding. Let's bring in my brother Happy. That's a fine choice. You're both gonna do because great. he's happy. happy no, 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 no. Okay, now, I'm gonna ask you five questions. 
I want you to try to give me the most popular answer. Now, if your answer is combined with your teammates, add up to 200 points. You're going to win the jackpot. California. Start the clock. Old had a party. Maybe something you might buy your father for Father's Day. A tie. Name something you'd hate to find out the hotel you're staying in just ran out of. Uh, towels. Toilet paper. Toilet cheese. Name a kind of chip. Potato. <laughs> or poker. Poker will be the next one. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? Strawberry. For me, it is. Name a musical <clears throat> instrument you do not blow into. Drums. We're done. Peanut now butter, caramel. Think you can do better? Guitar. I'm okay. not going to lie. Okay. Going second is a little it. tougher. I'm going to ask that. you the same five questions. Don't duplicate any answers, because if you do, I'll need another one. Box all set. Let's go. <laughs> Name something you might buy your father for Father's Day. I'll go with beer. Okay. It's not even giving me the option as an answer. Okay. Name something you'd hate to find out the hotel you're staying in <clears throat> just ran out of. Towels. Name a kind of chip. Poker. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll buy? Both caramel. It's a very popular answer. Name a At least it wasn't the Dairy Queen Blizzard. Do not blow into. Guitar. All right. That's all five of them. We got it. They can go ahead and give us a zero on the beer, but that's it. There's nothing more we can do now. You know that is a good answer. Our fast money fighters up here to see how it went. Clue. <laughs> Peanut butter jelly time. For our first question, we ask: Name uh. something you might buy your father for Father's Day. So here's what you said. I see what our survey says. That's the most generic fucking answer. Oh, yeah. Top answer. So it's fine. Our second question was Name something you'd hate to find out the hotel you're staying in just ran out of. You answered. Oh, my dad, beer for every occasion. You should feel <laughs> right? confident with these answers. Yeah. Nice work. That's a top answer. For the next question, only 10 though for. Toilet Name a kind of toilet shit. Paper? You said. It would matter if I'm at a hotel and I'm I taking shit and I don't have no toilet paper there. in that bitch. The jackpot is inside. Damn, now. not a lot of poker players. Next, we ask you. When you open a box of chocolates, which filling do you hope you'll bite into? I want strawberry. These answers. I like strawberry truffles. These answers are looking good. Oh, yes. Damn, not a lot of love for strawberry. You earned yourself an but we didn't even need the last one, which we would have dominated it in because, you know, drum and guitar. Don't blow into the. You don't give them a good old blowy. Let's take a quick look see at the rest of your answers. Drums and guitar. Yep, 255. $20, Domination $20, Station. Well played, everyone. We'll see you next time, folks. On the I love how I brag on tonight. Easy. We didn't do very good against the Queen family. You know, so we should have dominated that way. I prefer Jack Jack. Still poking. They still play with chips. So. Bring the main menus so we can boost the difficulty. Broadcast your game live. That's what I'm already doing, sucker. Don't need your help. Oops. Hello. Let's get her in there. Get flat top in there. Get her in there. 
Everybody gets to participate in my panel. And this funky looking guy. Which one's why? Had the switch for every year and I still don't know what buttons what. Medium. Little medium. Coming back to Coopers for a moderate challenge. Oh, very hard. Very hard. Scares me. <laughs> Let's go very hard on the last one. Welcome to the yeah, I think we still need to try out very hard you. just to see how it is. It wasn't even unlocked. Oh, there's your furry. I got a pee. Damn it. Okay, thank you so much. I'm your man, Lucky McCoy. Somebody loves themselves. Let's meet today's family. Let's go very hard on this one. This family has their eyes on the prize. Our friend went to a Christmas party tonight, and she had uh, and today, Michael Scott taking on the, on the front. Family. And on the top of it, it said Christmas is coming. And on the bottom, that's what that's what she said. Our two families will compete head to head, trying to guess how the American population have answered our surveys. The family that funny the best, goes on to play fast money and has the chance to win twenty thousand dollars. Surveys ready? Let's roll. We're fucking ready, Lucky. Or Steve Harvey. I want to get sexually harassed by it's Steve time Harvey. To face the first question in the face-off. Fucking mustache ride from hell. All right, people, get up here and do your families proud. I'm gonna try my best. I'm going against the furry right off the bat, right? Yep. Fucking creepy ass fucking furry with a weird ass cardigan furry cardigan. There's more answers for you to find. Oh, God, damn, I got to get a shot at answering our survey. I wouldn't be mad if, if they actually got it. Answer, <laughs> you'll choose if your family plays or passes the round. We conducted a survey of 100 people Wait, for no, this no. question. Name a kind of meter. In like a flash. What do you think? Gas meter. Yeah, Said with confidence. Let's see it. Gas. No sexual harassment. It's banned. Ah, oh, number two answer. Son of a bitch. One look at you tells me you've got the top answer. <laughs> One look at you. Maybe yeah, look at that expression on his face. A okay, smart then. meter. Could it be there? The fuck is that? Smart. <laughs> Zilch. So what's the deal? You gonna play or pass? Water meter, air pressure meter. Okay, you're gonna play. Let's Blood see what glucose. happens. I might be too sophisticated for this game. Come on, Brainy. Do you have an answer? Oh. Go. I'll, I'll go with the first one. Water. A war meter. All right. <laughs> Is a thermometer a meter? Because it has the word meter in it. Water. Water is on the It's there, there. On there. but it's Water's not top. Oh, that's a good answer. Electricity. Give me an answer. Um. Electricity. Sure thing. And what Air does pressure. Shirley say? Electricity. You're nice, nice, nice. Still not the number one hey, fucking hey. answer. Name a kind of meter. Uh huh. Hmm. That's tricky. Air pressure. All right, let's try it. Meter made. <laughs> Is that the That's answer, answer we need? Oh. Sorry, it wasn't up there. So I'm gonna have to give you your first strike. Oh, no. oh made. There's only Might be a little bit too smart for this game, but the meter made. Mm, it's not even fucking giving it to me until I fucking we have type answer. out the whole thing. Will this make a clean sweep? Let's find out. 
made. Ooh, it's another strike. Ooh. Blood glucose. I mean, I need that'd be the an number one answer. Then. Yeah, it's like thermometer, yeah. Is that the last answer on the board? Is it really a type thermometer. of meter? Well, oh, fuck no, me. That's strike three. Well, Number like one Mary answer. Fuck. <clears throat> to steal the points, all they've got to do is find fuck it up, right furry. Answer. You creepy bastard okay. with your smart if meter. The answer is there. You'll steal the points. If not, they go to the other side of the stick. Meter stick. Ah, oh, damn. That might be it. Are you sure about that? Parking meter? Oh, no. Let's see what the survey says. Parking. Damn. You know the score. Terrible start. That's just terrible. That's just fucking terrible. You're the big winner this round. Shut up, Cooper fan. All right. It's Fuck time for a score update. Fuck you, Lucky. We've still got plenty of game to go. Yeah, we do. Just a small hiccup. Just a minor hiccup. Got this. Thing. Are you ready for a face-off? I'm fucking right, doggy. From each family to join me right now. Five answers are on the board. Fingers on buzzers. Here we go. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name the part of the body you use the most from the waist up. You're in first. My head. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. Got it. Let's run with it. Hands. Head. God damn, we don't use our head at all. Nobody said that one. We're still looking for the top answer, by the way. Name the part oh, of the you use the most from the waist up. Eyes. Ah, you dick. That's your answer. Did our survey agree? Eyes. Yeah, please give me a chance to go pee. Way to go, I use one answer. That's on the board. Mm -hmm. Wait, are they going to pass play, or do you want to pass and force them to play? Furry wants to pass, but everybody else wants to play. It looks like they're hoping to steal the points again. Wait, so it's us? Oh God! Moving along. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. Enough. Yeah. Not the one above. I see what you did there, Kelly. Wrong head, indeed. I see well, I don't use that head, though, either. <laughs> Do we have it? Mouth. It's there. Body parts, nice. both the way. I used my belly button. I'm going to need a guess from you. Hands. Somebody's about to get these hands. You know, they do lay below the waist sometimes. No. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's see if the board's got it. Hands. Nose. I guess you do smell a lot. That's hey, look, a hands are number one. Nose, ears. What will you go for? Fucking quit dancing, you chomo. Over it. Nose. <laughs> totally brain farted. Follow your nose. It's two can sand. Is it up there? Show me. Fucking A, it's up there. It's number nose. two. Hey, it's not up there at all. All right. That's your first cool. strike. Great. Two more and you're done. Fantastic. Don't your nipples. So what's your guess gonna be? I'll go with ears. So I can listen to your bullshit, Lucky. Yeah, that's a great answer. Oh, okay.
okay? Did any of our 100 people say it? Sure, it's one of those two. You don't have very many bike parts. That's your second strike right there. What am I? Oh, I use my gut. Name the part of the body oh, still you out. use the most from the waist up. Stomach. You gotta eat, right? <laughs> Understood. Is it on the board? Stomach. Oh, fuck you. Ouch. Third strike. Oh, this no. round is getting thrown over to the other side. Let's see if them passing instead of playing pays off. It did not. If they can find just fuck one answer, for this babies. family will steal the board. If your answer is on that board, you'll steal that money in the bank. Oh shit. You're back. Okay. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Damn. I might be up there. Back. Ah. What's left? On it. Fingers? Fingers. Well, that's part of hands, though. The points go to this Lips. family. So what did we miss this time? Teeth. What's the fifth answer? Brain. I said head. I Come on now. Number two. Fucking family food. Arms. Arms. Show That's some shady scores. bullshit right there. <laughs> but we There's got the point. At the top of the scoreboard. Oh, bing, bing, bing. Wasn't up there though. It was in our town. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. Uh, I see what you did there with that joke. Because it's like face-off, but it's not painful. I'm going to need three answers this time. All right. Ooh, things Just are three. heating up. Points are doubled now. 100 people. We asked them the following. Oh, flat top. Name an animal that people ride. Horsey. Fast. Hope you've got a good answer. Yeah, that's a great answer. Yes. Did sure, anyone that's in the answer. survey say this? Horse. Bada bing, bada boom. At the top. Nobody rides so, a pork. What are you gonna do here? Camel. Play or pass. Donkey. I'll do camel first, and then I'll do donkey. You won last time, and now it's three answers. On a so. roll. Let's play I rode a thing. pig at a state fair once. You look True like story. someone who's got a good guess for us. A bull. That's what you think, huh? That's a fucking dolphin. Survey said. <laughs> Camel. Oh, we're so close to completion. Whoa, yeah. so close to completion. <laughs> you got a good answer? Let's hear it. Uh... Go bull. You know, here in Kansas, we ride a lot of bull. We fucking haul. Yeah, that's a great answer. Got it. Let's take a look. Bull. Come on, clean sweep. Uh... Fuck you. Strike one, two what more, else and you're say? out. Oh. Camel, horse. Name an animal that people oh. ride. Oh. Donkey. I was going to say, I had another answer up there. I just couldn't remember. Donkey. Interesting answer. The survey says, donkey. Or ass. Boom! And that, my friends, is how you clear the That's board. That's called a mic drop. I count that as a clean sweep because I did say donkey, but then I decided to All right, to go let's see where we're at. Dead. Still in the lead. They must really oh want to. My gut got the clean sweep. Oh, no. I think pig should have been in there. We like to ride the piggies. It's time for the face-off. 
I need one person from each family to join me up front. Trying to bladder, I've been able to hold my penis all the time. I'm not drinking alcohol, so it's easier to hold. <laughs> I'm gonna need six answers, friends. Damn, now we're up to six answers. All right, now it's still anyone's game because for this question, the point values are triple. We took Cold a show. survey of 100 people, asking them, "Name something." Something they do pay to ride. If it's not a common thing you ride, name something. Some you got it first. Tess. That's what you're going with. Let's see if it's up there. Bing. Exams. Damn. You're on the board, but that top answer is still out there. Cheat at marriages. <laughs> the top answer is still up there. Think you've got it? What the fuck she get? Relationships? Nice. This is how, this this how we know what she's up to. Relationships. Damn. It ain't A lot of number one. Fucking but cheating assholes. Pass or play? Play. So I can pee. Okay, let's get back to your family. Thank you. Get your feuding face on. It's your go. You guys got to keep track of the kind of answers they do, so if we do get to play, yep. let me know what to use. Sports? Our survey said sports. You found a good answer, but it's not the best answer. Hey. Hey. Your guess, buddy. Uh-huh. Feeling lucky? Time to check the board. Diet. Well, yeah. you hit the target, but it's not a bullseye. Ah. Yeah. Name something some people cheat at. Right. Answer accepted. I want to see that answer. Bus fare. Nope, not up there. So here's your first strike. Cheat at life, cheat at games. Just two answers left to find. Games is a good one. Okie dokie. Is that answer good enough? Eight. Sports, diet, diet, yeah, that's a good one. Uh oh, two strikes. Our other family better get ready. Games. Cheat at death. There's only two answers left That's, up there. It's a dark answer, but a good answer. Life, death. I think they put it in the sick guy. Cheat at taxes? That's not Our a bad answer. Said, uh, this is a medium. You're still in this. A lot of people cheat on their taxes. <laughs> I never yeah, have. I just sometimes don't do them. Good. He cheated okay. on a job interview. Well, I guess you lie on your the final answer? Job interview. Both uh, games. Dang, that's three strikes. This is Sorry, the final folks. destination. The other yeah. family gets a chance to steal. No games. That sounds good to me. As much as I love the morbid uh, life death answer. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. Here's your chance. You can do it. Hopefully they would That's consider good. video games part of games. Show me that answer. Games. Ah, bada big, bada boom, real guy in the room. How you doing? You've won this round. Damn right we did. Let's see who won this. Yes, thing. we did, team. Yes, we did, team. We have a winning family. You can't cheat a family. You can't even Google that. You folks are moving on to our final round. Bye bye, Coopers, you crazy cats. Bye bye, fur babies. All right. Fast mood. So they Welcome seemed like they were going to be tough competition, but then we cleaned the floor with them. Fast money. We need two people for fast money. Who else is going to play? Fibrillator is for you. Okay, Captain. Which of this? But it was just a little too dark for the family to play fast money with. Pick wisely. 
Uh, I like sassy. Let's get some sass up in here. Let's kick this pig and play the feud. Let's kick this pig. That's fucked up. You need to get your ass. I'll ask you five questions. You give me five answers. Try to think of the answers cool with the highest number of responses. Get more than 200 points, and you'll win the grand prize. I have an earring. I do have an earring. Now. I have two earrings. <laughs> Besides pirates, name something you might find on an old pirate ship. Treasure! Name something to help you through a lonely night. Books. Give a word Frankenstein's monster would use to describe himself in a personal ad. What? Friendly. <laughs> Friend. When Batman retires, name something he'll probably give to Robin. Money. Name something some people buy new and other people buy used. Car. We're all out of questions. Oh, so there's still some good answers left out there. Let's see how your partner does with and, these questions. And <laughs> that's shark. Going second is a little more difficult. You'll answer the same five questions. But you cannot duplicate any answers we've had. Tall for Frankenstein. You do, yeah. You'll have to give it another guess. Your time starts now. Besides pirates, name something you might find on an old pirate ship. Swords. Name something to help you through a lonely night. Movies. Give a word Frankenstein's monster would use to describe himself in a personal ad. When Tom. Batman retires, name something he'll probably give to Robin. Batcave. Batmobile. Name something some people buy new and other people buy used. Tampons. Close. That's everything. All right, let's see how we did. And now you can relax. That was the final <clears throat> question. Right, let's get back here on stage and see what how you, you both did. <laughs> New and used. Oh, YouTube for lonely days. Gotcha. For starters, we asked. Besides pirates, name something you might find on an old. <laughs> you said you to my tampon answer. What you said. <laughs> Both of these answers are looking strong. I don't think you'd find a dead parrot. A top oh, yeah. answer. Good going. Question two. Name something to help you through a lonely night. Your answers. Horn. I think we might be good on this one. The nice. number one answer. Next up, we asked, give a word Frankenstein's monster would use to describe himself Fire in a personal that. ad. And your answers? How many of our 100 people said these? Yeah. We're very close well, to the big money. Friend, no, apparently. For question and that's four, one of his favorite words. <laughs> when Batman retires, Name something he'll probably give yes, to Robin. <laughs> Here's what you said. Let's reveal what the good answer in the adult family. If you you've done it, you're gonna give Robin no money. This is it. You've gone and won. But we still didn't need the last answer. Let's see the rest of the answers. 305 points. Nice. We kick that ass. Look at this level up. You just won twenty thousand bucks. We are level twelve warriors in the family feud. We have better armor and shit. That concludes the feud. We'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye.
So if we are the one just skip right up to very hard. Sounds good. See how bad we get slaughtered. Did it give me the option for hard? Or is that after I pick my players? Let's go. Woo. Battle the toughest team of few fanatics. All right, let's go, team. And it's passing his cat around. Oh, that's a tough one. But they just they just serve normal people, not Kong but nerds. <laughs> another episode of Family Feud. Oh, the fur babies are back. I'm Lucky McCoy, your host, back where I belong. Nice. Very first time playing very hard. Who are the two families feuding it out? The dream team is what they call themselves. So it's just like... A member from each family, pretty much. This family wants to win it the all. fucking creepy ass furry. And they're facing this formidable bunch. Is it just me, or do they look familiar? You want to know how to play the feud? One of them looks really familiar. <laughs> We've surveyed 100 people, and you need to guess the answers they've come up with to our questions. The team right, that does the best goes on to play fast money. And has the chance to win twenty thousand bucks. All right, Pewters, let's play. Let's get things rolling. It's time for the face right, off. Game face, bros. Game I face, bros and brosettes. <laughs> oh, go face to face with this fucker. We right, want the top dude. four answers to this question. When you have an answer to our survey, buzz in as fast as you can. Whoever finds the top no answer first an gets answer to decide no. if they want to play or pass. We asked 100 people. Name a place dogs are known to drink from. You've got Toilet. some quick reactions, my friend. <laughs> what do you think? Ah, uh, yes. Did our survey the bowl or toilet is going to be number one. Ah, yeah. Numero Fist pump. uno. Fist pump, push What's up, shap, stick. Play or pass? We're going to play. All right. Let's play then. What does the fox say? God, that's it's terrible. It's your song. go. What do you think? You love the Mario Para <laughs> with, the, with the sad eyes. I love it. Oh. Hey, okay. Time to find out if it's up there. <laughs> Dish. Dish. All right. Way to go, kiddo. Huddle. Oh, that's Beer can, yeah. Have you got some feuds I've seen that too many times around these parts. Okay, it's always a good sign when it's one of the four answers that they really put up. Have you found one of them? Puddle. All right, now almost cleared the board. Name a place dogs are known to drink from. Fire hydrant. All right. Have you found the missing water hose? Let's That'll be the next out. one. Fire hydrant. That's and... not on the board. So you like to yourself a strike. Feed water with the hose. 
to my friend's oh, dog because it's one of those that will jump and try to bite it and shit. Yeah. Sure thing. Is this the last answer we're looking for? Hose. Damn. Uh, Cuss this bottle. Right. I mean, I can't think of nothing else. Let's go for it. Be careful. Let's try it. What did our Gotta get it. Say? Or the fucking dream team will get a chance to steal that last one. Fuck. Three strikes. That's gonna do right, it. Very you. hard. Dream oh, yeah, team. Yeah, we have a Why don't you pile drive me into some mission? Now the other family only need to find one answer and they can take this round. Goddamn tiny Gatorade. Find bottles. a good answer and you'll get all the points. Bond. We have an answer. Let's see if you're right. Pond. Ah, they could take that dream it. team. Take that dream team. <laughs> you win this round. What's number four, Lucky? There's only one Douche. answer you couldn't find. What was behind number four? Cool. Cool. Yeah, makes sense. Let's find out who's in charge. Till they fall in and drown it did. All right, Pewters, that's one round in the can. Let's see what awaits us next. Oh, wow. I'm our can. Oh, wow. oh no. Oh, I just noticed the dude from fucking King Crown. Time to go head to head. It's the face off. Who's face playing? Off. Let me see you up front. I want you to give me four right, answers bitch. to this one. Get ready to buzz in when you have an answer. In our survey, we asked 100 people, what illness would you fake if you were pretending to be sick? You're first on the buzzer. What you got? Flu. All righty then. Dogs never drink out of the pool. Let's see if that's a correct answer. But some dogs do. Flu. Flu, cold. I need somebody who's going to say nice COVID. Job, it but is it's not the number one answer. <laughs> Have you got something? Not the number one answer. What else do you fake? What illness would you fake? Diarrhea. If you were pretending to be sick. Okay. Are you sure about that? Show me the answer. Come on. Stomach Fuck ache. you. We've got a top answer. Do you want to play or pass? I get the stomach. I get the stomach queezes. So when uh, oh, oh, I hope you can bounce back after that last round. When I get the Here flu. I just had the flu. And it fucking sucked. What do you have for us? The midian food poisoning. Let's go. Got it. Do we have a right answer? Gonorrhea. No. No fake gonorrhea. Why would you want that? To, why would you want to fake Ouch. that? Sorry, you <laughs> earned yourself a stripe. Ooh. You got anything for us? No STDs. <laughs> why would anyone want to fake that shit? That's your answer. So where it goes, like common illness, headache, stomach ache. Left? Headache. Look at that beautiful the board. Almost full. What illness would you fake if you were pretending to be sick? I see oh, where you're shit. going with this. Let's see if it's there. Cold. Here's the board. All right, we got a barn burner. We got a barn burner. Congrats, this round is yours. 
How are those scores looking? Shut the fuck up, huh? Now this game is yeah. We're in a dog fight. <laughs> it's not a tumor. Come on. Are you ready for another face-off? Yep. Okay. I need someone from each family on, to Brainy. join me up front. Represents your name. Juice for the crown and the shoulder pads. We've got a full board of eight answers this time. Damn. All eight. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. We asked a hundred people the following. What one thing in your house gets used more than anything else? Go for it. Toilet. <laughs> Ooh, I almost clicked toad. Okay, sure. In bed. Let's check the board. Come on, that's gonna be number one answer. Bathroom. Fuck you. It's up there, but it's not the top answer. All right, you're up. What one thing in your house gets Table. used more than anything else? The bathroom is going to be shot. It's worth a shot. Coffee Let pot? Let's that better out. not be number one. Coffee pot. I don't even drink coffee. Good. It's there, but it can't be the other answer. Bed. Is it your time to play or pass? TV, phone, bed. We're going to come out swinging to win this round. And go to bed. You're up. What you got for me? What you got? I mean, there's a lot of answers on the fucking board. Bed. Oh, okay. And our survey says... Bed. Butt plug. Oh. But it's not the number one answer. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a good answer. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Oh. What do we say? Uh, fridge. Yeah, Understood. Understood. The survey says. You're a bitch. Fridge. Still not number That's one. A good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. Table. What one thing in your house gets used more than anything else? Okay. Bathroom's already up there. Our survey says. Not everybody has an Alexa. <laughs> Damn. You hear that noise? Maybe. That's a strike. So we go with couch. What's your answer? Yeah. 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 Yes. Is it there? Door. Okay. Couch. I'll do door next. Fuck. Strike two. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. Don't. <laughs> he just said, they don't. They look innocent, but if you don't get this one, those folks over there could steal everything. Fuck them folks. Or fuck that cat. They're unused couch, apparently. That's what you think, huh? Our survey. That's says what we think. Door. Wow, it's not even up there. Three what the strikes. fuck? We're yeah. throwing out a lifeline to the other family. They got uh, they have four possible answers. Well, they've got to, to land find on one to steal answer this on the board, and they can steal the round. Son of a bitch! You could steal all the points with this answer. Got it. Lights. Uh oh. Let's Except see if lights. that's a good answer. Vegas. Lights. Uh, ah, yeah. That's yeah, not yeah. what we're looking for. Or, 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 or. And we got ourselves a winner. 
Looks like we missed a few answers. Well, let's fucking let's see what they were. Let's see number eight. Microwave. Washing machine. Washing machine. He washes What was place. number seven? You just do the sniff test. Microwave. Microwave's up there. Good job. Good and job. Number four, please. Phone. Phone. Come on, let's take a look Good at job. that. Somebody got that one answer. too. What's number one? TV. TV. Why did I forget to use Before that? Before we start another round, let's find I out. I distracted with the other phone. answers. I forgot to use TV. <laughs> My bad. There's a big change on the scoreboard. But we still got it. So, no hostility. We're still, we're still a happy family. Let's get this to really kind of seal it. I don't know what the fist means. I need a contestant from each family, please. Seal it. Apparently, this is the sign for sealing it. The top five answers are on the board. Point values are tripled now, so it's still anybody's game. We asked 100 people to give us an answer to this. Name something people say they have to catch up on. You're up first. Reading. Interesting answer. Let's see it. Kind of family doesn't use their father's money. Reading. God damn. It's correct, but there's a better answer out there. Right. You still have the number one answer up there. Just we're gonna steal just to keep it interesting. Name something people say they have to catch up on. Oh, she's lifting her people's eyebrow there. Oh, yeah. That's what you're going mm. with. It's probably Could up there. there? Hopefully, it's uh, number five. Homework. Ah! <laughs> it's up there, but it's not good enough to win Suck the face-off. Now here's the million-dollar question: Play or pass? TV, yeah. Work. TV work. Oh, You're playing. Fine. Time for your guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Is it up there? Let's hope so. Not even up there. That's God not up there. Damn. Right. And now it's your guess. Um. Work it, then you twerk it. Yep. And what did our survey say? Bing. Work. Bing. Oh, no. Oh. You struck out again. Catch up. Name on. something people say they have to catch up on. Exercise. Feeling lucky? Must Let's be great for binging keep says. shows. Bills, oh, that's a good one. Exercise. Sleep, oh, that's a good one too. Damn it, damn it. And I missed those answers. Before I guess that one, but that wasn't a bad guess. Oh, yeah. Our other family has a chance to steal. <sighs> Fuck. If this family bills, one answer, sleep, you're guessing those two are at least up there. Friendship. If this answer you is up there, you uh, take the points for this past round. times. What you been up to, Steve? Well, no, a lot, Bill. Yeah, yeah. Answer accepted. Ah, that's a good answer. Fuck. Let's run with it. Housework. But work wasn't up there. It's a steal. So, work. You gotta be more specific on your work title. Now it's time to see what you missed. Fucking cocks. Answer number two. Where are you? Shut up, dude. Bills. Bills, damn it. Time to reveal Sleep. that tricky top Sleep's answer. number one. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Damn it. Good so job, where are everybody's score is at. Yeah, housework. I don't know what that like is. I haven't done this motherfucker round. in a long time. Yeah. We're still up though. We're still in the lead. Neither team has surpassed three hundred. Knew this could be a dogfight. So that means we need a decider. 
card. Let's play sudden death. Oh, damn it, Bobby. Who's going to join me up here? I need someone from each family. Come on, sassy. Get them sassy pants to work. This is fucking salt and pepper suave answer. motherfucker. Oh, it's sudden Ready death. Those feuding fingers. All you need to do is buzz in first <clears throat> and give me the top answer to win this round. We asked 100 people this question. Name a supply kids buy for school. Your fingers are on fire. Okie dokie. Mm, that's a you tough one. Because you need all of those. Pencil, paper. Pens. Got it. Excellent job. You've won sudden death. Fucking eat a dig very hard. Oh, 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 oh. Our green team of champions has been defeated. Very hard eat this hard dick. Think fast. Woo! Yeah, suck it very hard. Fast money. Suck it very hard. You know who's yeah, playing. Nice. I'm Lucky McCoy, and I've got a feeling you're going to be lucky. But who's playing with you? Hey, am I going to be lucky? Am I going to get lucky thanks to you? Well, since I'm going to be lucky, let's bring in Plucky. All right, <laughs> let's play. Yeah, I went there. You're up first. You'll get five questions, and you'll give me the most popular answers for them in order to score the biggest amount of points. If you and your buddy can get 200 points or more, you'll take home the big bucks. Now let's see if fast money Start is a little more block. difficult. Name a food that kids can prepare themselves. Cereal. Name something you'd hate to forget to put in a diaper bag. Diapers. Name another famous bear that Yogi Bear might get into a fight with. Uh, uh, Smokey. Like it or not, name a place people have to go. Work. Bathroom. Name ah, shit. Wrong button. Fuck. Do for the first time. Well, work will be the answer next week. Some kind of slow watch that should do for the first time. Walk. God damn it. Can't believe I hit the wrong button. That's all five. Well, worth it will not be up there, but hopefully we work. All right, let's see. <laughs> will be a good answer. Fozzy Bear. Anyone put the Yogi Bear? You're up next, and things are a bit more challenging now. You've got it to answer was. the same questions, but you can't say anything that's already been said. If you do repeat an answer, I'll ask you for another. Your God, time man, starts man. now. I'd like to have two good guesses. Name a food that kids can prepare themselves. Uh, toast. Name something you'd hate to forget to put in a diaper bag. Pipes. Name another famous bear that Yogi Bear might get into a fight with. Fuzzy bear. Like it or not, name a place people have to go. Let's try this again. Work. Name something parents <laughs> love watching their child do for the first time. Talk. We're all questioned out. <laughs> okay, you've done all you can. Watchable. <laughs> I'm sure you've both done great. Let's find out. First up, we ask, name a food that kids can prepare themselves. This is how you answer. You ought to be happy with those answers. We found the most <laughs> oh, fuck the kids making toast. Damn it. 
So there's the guaranteed two zeros up there. Name My stupid fat fingers hit the wrong guy in a diaper but. bag. <clears throat> so here's what you said. Those answers look good, don't they? They look good. He was just like that. Gee. There we go. I mean, it's even in the name. Question, diaper bag. Right? Diaper. It was That's why 60 plus people fucking name guessed another it. another famous bear <laughs> that Yogi Bear might get into a fight with. The answers to this one. These two are looking good. These are good answers. You only need Ooh, Fozzie Barely too. They call him Fozzie a bitch. Question four. We asked two sixty plus point questions. Though. That makes up not, for some grand. Name there, place people it. have to go. Here are your answers. Well, what did our survey say? Worse. <laughs> That's two Not only nineteen for work. That was some impressive. Oh, but we got it. Look at those sixty plus. Suck it very hard. Suck it very hard. Let's quickly see how Yeah, I actually clicked the But hey, it's fine. you're taking home twenty thousand big ones. Walk had seventy four points. So yeah, we were good. Times that. For we were, that was see you back easy soon. money. Alright, let's play another game now. We got we gotta spin the wheel to make the deal. Shall we play again? All right, now let me pull up the little wheel here. Joseph! Do we just beat Family Feud on easy, medium, and very hard for the first time? Software was closed because of Eric. Well, it's a good thing that we were done playing Family Feud because it said error, error. All right. <clears throat> Just, uh, you're just in time for the game number two. Well, we know that is, or we don't know yet. Let me see. Let me pull up my little wheel here. All right. Let me full screen this bitch. And five choices. Got a little advertisement to click off there. All right, here we go. Spin, spin, spin. Up next, MTV's remote control. <laughs> nice. We haven't even played this one yet, so very nice. I just have to switch to consoles real quick. Because it's, it's the only game that I don't have on my Switch. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, huh? people cheering on Wheel of Fortune. Sorry, the Wheel did not pick Wheel of Fortune. They picked MTV's Remote Control. But MTV's remote control, it's not a very long one. We'll probably just do one round because it gets really fucking annoying, too. <clears throat> then we'll spin the wheel again! Yeah, buddy. Gotta get on my knees real quick. Oh, okay. Well, brings back memories, right? No controls the shit. I guess I need my controller to select remote control, huh? Yeah, buddy. For the regular NES. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, fucking full screen this shit so I can see. What would it be under MTV? Slowly roll. Yes. No, so it'd be under R. Remote control. 
Best in knee pads. Aren't you cute, Joseph? There it is. Remote control. Guess I was having to make a couple of things. All right, I'm gonna go get me a drink real quick, and then we'll get on to some MTV remote control. Pepper. And I got me each, uh, a Hershey's chocolate bar. Because <laughs> why the fuck not? group of some old fogies here because uh, clearly it's gonna be some old questions that, look, that, that looks like me <laughs> let's see our contestants look how big my smile is Okay, Freddy, you are in control. Choose a category. I want my Hershey's bar, though, first. Let's just go ahead and number one. Happy Days. I never watched Happy Days. I played Grandpa Cunningham, and his real-life daughter, Marlo, is married to Phil Donahue. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Howie. Her name is Howie. Fuck Happy Days, so I'm not picking number one no more. About the daytime melodrama we described. I mean, another guessing category. Got time for greener pastures, and he may return. Jack Wagner. Got it. <laughs> Gilligan's Island. Fuck. Directed the castaway stage performance out of Clear Passion. The Professor! Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, good for Mevy Star. Duh. Right? Nope. The Millionaire. Okay. Whatever. Gilgan's Island, what a dick. 
And there's a first mate. Captain, he was his first mate. Yep, he's exactly first. Okay, let's see what number four is. More prime time. Christine Bateman is a dopey but lovable star. A love prime time sitcom with her brother Jason Stop. It's not growing pains, right? That's not weird. Yeah, so it's the Hogan family. Hogan knows best. You skip a lot of school as a kid. <laughs> can help do with his lips, but it's what us humans must do with our lips. Let's say his whistle, right? I was an Al fan. I was an Al fan for sure. The Bob Channel. <laughs> Robert, Roberto, Rob, Bobby, Robbie, and Bob by any other name is still answer to Bob. As dumb as you look, this guy's an ass. Back in the 50s, before you were born, remember kids? I'm just stuck for this show with the peanut gallery and I'm talking to duty. Howdy duty. Mm -hmm. I'll just guess. Like, I remember that shit. <laughs> Not far behind, only five points. Uh, Newhart, our Larry Daryl and Daryl related. Or just a guess. God damn it. Last time I played this, they were giving me categories that I fucking knew. <laughs> Old man. Why you go back to Gilligan's Island? Fuck you. So celebrate her own wedding anniversary. Mrs. Hell tried to cook up a romance between the what two tests. Sounded cool. Never watched fucking Gilligan's Island though. Bob Denver. Yeah. I was thinking John Denver for some reason. Like, he's a musician. That's where I fucked up. Damn it. That's how I fucking do that. God damn Asian dude. Fucking whipping that ass. Yeah, Bob Denver. Once these stars were on top of the world, now they're under. So, dead people. Lungs gave out. Some of them played a chain smoking New York prison matron on Lutz Street. Mm. 
Good old Nightcore was bull. I, was, I used to watch Nightcore, but I haven't watched it since then. Well, time's up. That's it for round one. I can only mean snack break time. Drop that food on all faces. That is a weird uh, animation. Weird graphic. Yeah, good old Nightcore. Michael, I'm just having a field day on, on this with these old ass questions. <laughs> All the point values are doubled now! Wish they bring the show back. That'd be fun. The way everybody watches shows and shit. Oh, it's my turn. Lucky number seven. Home shopping zone. You're entering another dimension on one in which you'll be losing ten points but picking up this valuable prize. Here it is. Legendary Glenn Campbell hyperventilation bag used by Glenn when he learned his wife was once married to Mac Davis. To her keepsake for the enshrinement in the Country Music Hall of Fame. But it's yours for just a few points. This <laughs> is a dumbfounded look on everybody's face. That was fucking stupid. Okay, let's go to number nine. Dr. Blister. That was three years ago. Is it even streaming anywhere? Steel Dr. Blister, world's foremost expert on celebrity rumors. The trash member of the Rolling Stones is rumored to have sold the rights to his cremated remains for a million dollars. Keith Richards. It's gotta be him. He's a fucking weirdo, right? Nope. Apparently it's gonna be uh, Mick or Charlie. Fucking Mick Jagger. Millions of dollars for somebody's ashes. That's fucking gross. Shout out Keith, too. Apparently not. Seemed like something he would do. Like the golden age of black and white television. Here we go, Michael Long. <laughs> What's the name of the pet? Oh, dug up in the backyard and kept under the stairs. I know that one. Love me some monsters. Got the fucking box set right here. Mary Tyler Moore. Gross. Mary's nosy neighbor Phyllis was also a friend of lady. Who played Phyllis? I'm gonna guess Cloris Fleechman. That's a good guess, because she's been old for over 100 years. <laughs> Catching up. Now we just need a little mustard. Let's go back to the black and white category. He supposedly snorted his father's ashes. That's fucked up. Well, then it's funny. What was Gomez Adams' day job? No? What was he? I'm not an Adams family guy. I'm a Munsters guy. He was a lawyer? That makes sense. I feel stupid now. Dr. Blister. Humphrey Bogart is rumored to be the model for the baby on the label of what brand of baby? Gerber's. That's just lucky, guys. <laughs> Gerber's been around for a long time, so I just, you know. Private eye. Peek through windows and hide in closets. They're not weirdos. They're private investigators. But they're still weirdos. From the moment of Frank's place, Tim Reed portrayed what undercover cop on Simon and Simon? Downtown Brown. That was just a kind of an educated guess. But still a guess. Fucking three. Ah, that show I didn't watch at all. Trick was honorably discharged because he's gonna take a guess. Gonna take a guess. Radar. Hey, lucky guess. Yeah. Tied up with the Asian feller. More MTV. It was Miami Steve when he played. 
play guitar for Bruce. What's Little Steven's last name? Van Zant. We feel all warm and tingly inside. Take the lead, bitches! Yep, little Van Zant. Let's see what number two is. Prime time, like D. Hall Sanders. On its Gary Shandling show, what phrase appears on Gary's license plate? No idea. Let's make up the stupid answer. And the stupid answer it is! <laughs> Don't want to be too sophisticated there, Gary Shandling. The answer's always three, apparently. <laughs> Number one. What's number one? Beaver TV. Ah, oh, porn. No, I'm just kidding. What sport did dim-witted Lumpy Rutherford receive a college scholarship? I guess baseball. That is incorrect. I should have went football. Always go with the better sport of the of the three there. Okay, Freddy. Oh. Coming in hot. You know what really bugs us? The guy at the end of 60 minutes with tumbleweeds for eyebrows who whines about what really bugs him. What's his name? Andy Rooney. I knew that one. Yeah, Andy. Yeah, like, go back over here to eight. That was the monstrous one there. Black and white TV. I do like me some black and white. Who had the title role in the wacky sitcom that followed the nutty misadventures of Wilbur and Carol Post? I'm going to go with Mr. X. That's the only one I recognize. And it's the correct answer. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're pulling far ahead now. Oh, no, nope, I already used all the questions. What was number nine? Oh, the rumor doctor. Ken Osmond, who played Cheery Eddie Haskell from Leave It to Beaver, grew up to be a heroic motorcycle cop. But which rock and roll superstar was he rumored to be? When he rumored to be Alice Cooper, I think I remember hearing that. Yeah. That was a weird rumor. Like the Marilyn Manson rumors. <laughs> Oh, Domination Station. Dude. They really should have changed up their music, though, on this one. <clears throat> Off the air. It's getting late in the game, and frankly, hell, you're not exactly blowing us away with your grasp of TV trivia. Adios, Howie. Let's keep that bitch. I oh, I did. Character, you name the show and which. What? What? I missed it. Tom Bradford. He was in. Sonny Crockett. Damn it. Oh, got that one. This is fucking pick and guess. Gotta get it in the last second. Yeah! Look at that. Played us some remote control and became the winner. All right, we'll go to the next game because that song is fucking annoying. <laughs> that was cool to revisit that old uh, that old uh, game there. Good old MTV's remote control. Yeah, 
Hello. Fucking get that music off. Adios. God damn. I said god damn. All right. Time to pull out the wheel so we can make a deal. The four remaining, we got Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, who wants to be a millionaire, and Trivial Pursuit. Round and round it goes, where it'll stop. There an advertisement, we'll know. <laughs> who wants to be a millionaire? Damn. Hating on the wheel. The wheel is hating on the Wheel of Fortune. Where was the other contestant? Sexes. Well, the Asian dude got electrocuted and disappeared too. What were you just do? Oh yeah, who wants to be a millionaire? A million, a million, million, a million, a million. Now I don't have to worry about switching consoles anymore since we got the fucking remote control thing out of the way. Uh, so back to the knees I go for the last time. Enjoy it, Joseph. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Family feud case. Damn, our control is disappointing. Yeah, it's more of a game to play by yourself. But I just wanted to add a sixth game to it, and that's the only one I can think of. Uh, yeah, I remember. Oh, I used to watch the shit out of that show when I was a kid. The little wall would open up, and sometimes like hands and shit would come out and grab people. And yeah, it was cool stuff. I don't want to play Trivial Pursuit, damn it. Because I just put this on the Switch. <laughs> it's like a brand new game. All right. Who wants to be a millionaire? We'll do a round of easy and a round of difficult. Because the easy one is where they don't give us the timer. So we can actually sit here and figure out the answer without Googling. And then the harder difficulty, that makes you fucking, you got to answer. <clears throat> I mean, it gives us enough time to see your guys' answers and shit, but. Uh, let me pull up the chat here. Bum, 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 bum. Hell, yeah, fucking remote control only used up fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> Said the game developers were just lazy remote control. Well, it was NES, you know. Fucking Sony. Let's get a little of the game by audio back in. Yeah. Should be good. <laughs> So that shit stuck in my head. All right, red team go. Easy. So we can answer the questions as one big happy family. She looks lonely. Let's be limited. I think she's 37. I'm 36. Quite close to age there.
some reason, this mini music right here is so much louder than everything else. Sega should have made the game instead. Fucked up. The Super Nintendo version would have been a better version, but they didn't make one. Hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's the only version of the remote control that exists. Let's focus, and off we go. The goal is to get as many right answers as possible. Very good. You so smart. Let's play. Who wants to be a? The goal is to get as many questions as you can, right? You know the money ladder, and it's fifteen steps to reach the. We got ourselves a smart whippersnapper here. To help you, we have four lifelines at your disposal. Phone a friend. The fifty-fifty. Ask the audience. And switch the question. All right, let's go for that melee. This new question shouldn't give you a hard time, in theory. What is the name of the major river in ancient Egypt? This is the first fucking question. Oh, the Nile. <laughs> I feel stupid. I was like, how am I? St oh, it's the fucking Nile. Uh, uh. I believe in my gut, and I'm choosing. She believes in her gut. Her nice little chubby belly. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? <laughs> I thought um, the goal was not to answer anything. That's correctly. my final answer. I mean, that's what I do a lot. Is answering final answer. I that's hope that's it is the right, the right, right one. <laughs> Just own it. You got it. Just own it. And we're still going forward. No slacking off. No slacking off. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. How's this game audio? Is it good? Who is the first man on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Buzz Lightyear. Nice. Sailor Moon. I think it's A. See, his first few questions I should be able to answer by myself without any y'all uh, help. Your final answer. That's but my you final answer. You have given. You took your time, but you are right. You take my time. Fuck you. Perfect. We're making progress. Good audio. Okay, Here's cool. Here's a new question for you. Which this is not an artistic activity. Painting is, sculpture is, circus is not. Sleeping is not. Circus is? Oh, because I guess it's a performing art. So sleeping, right? That's not artistic. You just sleep. Millionaire gets tricky. Remember that fucking basketball, basketball question you gave me? I'm going to choose D. Final answer? Oh. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and we're still going sleeping to can be in our form. There's even sleeping out. competition or napping competitions. They have a shit ton of people napping in bed and somehow you win. Theory. I don't I don't I never understood that kind of How long did the hundred years war last? Two hours. I don't think that's oh, probably no. it. Other than that, though, I have no idea. 500? This is where I already need you, folks. Or do I pull the audience? Remember, no Googling. Let's do this with our brains, not our technology. <laughs> True. Nappy competition, guys. I hate nappy. Do I pull the pull the audience here? Vegas is an honest man. It says he don't know. I'm gonna pull the audience. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. We need a little help here. If you would pick up those keypads and enter your votes now. Apparently, 116 years. Very dominant response from the crowd there. So I'm gonna go with them. Go C, final answer. C. Final answer. That's exactly what I just said, bitch. And what will be your final answer? I just said it. That's my final answer. <laughs> now it's time to find out the correct answer. You make it look easy. You got it. Well, the audience helped me on that one. Awesome. The make-believe audience. Of editors. Michael. You a new question. 
What comes out of volcano? Gemstones. It's gases, right? Gases or, or fire? Oh, that's what I was hoping for lava. I was like, oh, it's lava. And it's not one of the fucking answers. <laughs> Liquid hot magma. Still not one of the answers. Does it start out get? And then it just shoots. That just shoots lava though, not necessarily fire. Yeah, I was thinking gases. I have no doubt. And now to the most important question of Bill all. Bill for dramatics. Is this your final answer? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. You have made your choice. I have a chair. Oh, God, there. <laughs> Yay, we're guaranteed a thousand. With three lifelines left. Maybe fire. No, it's gas. Gas, Let's gas. Go for this new eliminatory question. What's the difference between a novel and a novella? I don't know. The direction you read it. Oh, um... Poof. <laughs> what is there between a novel and a novella? Length? You sure on that one, Michael? Length? I'll go with it. Because I have no fucking clue. I don't read books. Well, I mean, I do, but I'm not like an avid reader. And usually I just read biographies. Are you sure? <laughs> Vince, um, what? <laughs> choice is made. All right, I'm gonna go with Link then. That's what we were looking for. I didn't even let me do it twice to make sure it's my final answer. So maybe I should wait to even push the first initial push. I thought it would let me do it twice to make sure it's my final answer. Now waiting for you to be answered with flying colors. What is the phase change from liquid water to solid water? <clears throat> Freezing. Well, I'm completely stuck here. Unless it's freezing, right? I mean, that's obvious, right? <laughs> I'm going to bet on B. Is that your final? Um, that's my final answer. B, yeah. I mean, come on. I'm telling you though, this millionaire game, it always makes you nervous, and even no matter how obvious it feels. Because sometimes it's not the fucking obvious. Whoops! But we got it right. I hope you have recovered from your emotions, because here is your new question. Including the Joker's, how many cards there are in a 52 card deck? It's 54. Oh, I'm not sure. Right, because it's 52 without the Joker's. So makes it fifty four. I think. Yeah. Vegas, are you a gambler? <laughs> I believe in my gut and I'm, I'm going fifty four also though. Yeah. That sounds right. You had to make a choice. Is that I had to play fifty two card pickup many times as a kid because I was stupid. Answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. That's the one. Whoop, whoop. And they tried tricky there. Like it's a 52 card deck. How many cards are in it? Yeah, I know there are two jokers. But then there's also the card that gives you like the information and stuff. So really it's like 55. This is the United States president, so it's never awarded a Nobel B Prize. Peace Prize. I don't fucking know, bro. What's it? Jimmy Kata? Did Brock get a Nobel? Clinton get a Nobel? Don't they just, they usually just automatically give the president a Nobel, don't they? Hmm. 
We got 50 50 phone a friend and change the question. Brock won one. Okay. So we'll take him out. Teddy, Jimmy, and Billy. Maybe it was Teddy. For some reason, I wanted to say Jimmy. Clinton question mark? Let's phone a friend. Let's see what they say. You decide to play the lifeline, allowing you to call a friend. Hope you will call the right person. Grandmother, because she's old. So let's go with Paula. Good evening, Paula. Lindsay is in a tight spot in her game of who wants to be a millionaire. Do you think you could help oh, her out? Dave. No worries. Gotta go with Grandma. I have to say that I love you. I don't miss a single Spit it out, Grandma. We only got 20 seconds. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's a pleasure to hear, but let's get back to the game, please. I see that Lindsay is getting... Oh, yeah, because we're on a time limit. Without getting too far ahead of myself, I would say... Hey. Good old Billy didn't win one. Okay, I'll go with Granny. Let's go that with sounds you. right. <clears throat> I mean, it sounds good enough. Final answer? You sure? Come on, Granny. Oh. Come on, Granny. Yes, that's my final answer. Okay, the computer validated your answer. Good job, Granny. Paula. Wow, well, that was a really me, close Paula. call. Phew. Me, my Paula. <laughs> the game is getting tougher now with this brand new question. What is the baby of a deer in a stag called? It's a fawn, right? Baby deer is a fawn. Pretty sure. Somebody agree with me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Just want to make sure. Dare to say C. Let's go. So this is your final answer. That will be my Fawn final answer. From the choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. This money is safe now. Woo -woo! We got thirty-two grand. We still got what two lifelines left. 50 50 and uh, change the question. We're doing pretty good the there, fellas. A good start, but you shouldn't stop there. Here is a new what question. What is the name of the most famous photo retouching software? Photoshop. Right? Yeah. Photoshop. Hmm. Photoshop. You don't retouch photos with Office, Windows, well, Paint you do. Kind of a Photoshop because it's more for photo retouching. I think it's I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Final answer. You sure? Vegas also says A, so I'm not alone That's here. My final answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Perfectly executed. Awesome. <laughs> Perfectly executed. She needs some sweet loving. I'll give it to her. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. What is a pirate's hat called? I don't fucking know. Maybe if I see it, I'll recognize it. Nope, don't recognize it. Is it B? It's not a bread. It's not a top hat. So it's either B or C. <sighs> ah, Callie's back. And she's guessing A for a pirate's hat. Would it be a beret? Michael says C, a tricorn. That makes sense since it's, you know, tri, because it's got three points. Arr points just kidding not it <laughs> just glad to see a pat 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 pop back up in the chat 
But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with you here, uh, Long C, because you know, like I just said, the three points had tricord. You have to come safe it. sometimes. Save our lifelines. Okay, C. And now to the most important question of all: Is this your right, final yes, answer? Right. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Try. Yes, that's my final answer. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. Bingo! Perfect. We're making progress. For me, it's an educated guess. Try. Just try. Three Concentrate. Points. Here's a new question for you. This series of novels is written by Shannon Messenger. I'm not even going to pretend like I know. The Mixed Blood Colony. <laughs> Warriors, Keeper of the Lost Cities, The Mysterious well, Benedict Circle. I haven't even heard of any of these. So, what do you guys got? You all know how to read. Come on, Mr. Novel Novella. <laughs> and we have 50-50 and change the question left on our uh, Lifelines, right? Yeah, fifty fifty and change the question. No clue. Never heard of any of them. Yeah, neither have I. Galley Viegas. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I can't even narrow down to two, so I think I might just change the question. I'm just going to change the question. I'm just going to change the question. Because I don't fucking slide as fucking clue. The switch is made for these kinds of questions. Let's change the question. Keeper of the Lost Cities. Oh, man, I knew that. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have went with that one. You will be asked a new uh. question now. Which of these is a painting movement? Cubism, spherism, triangulism, pyramidism. Isn't it cubism? Not warriors. Well, thanks for that, Cal. <laughs> Oops. My guess is cubism or spherism. I think it's either A or B. Cubism, you're going with cubism as well. That's what I'm thinking. If I had to narrow it down to two, it's cubism and spherism. Do I 50 50 just to use it? Or do we just grow some hair on our nuts and go with cubism? Me and, me and Mark both think it's cubism. As I scratch my eyeball. <clears throat> hair on nutter. <laughs> Let's go hey, with Cubis. Let's grow up. some hair on our nutters. Are you sure? Come That's on. You have given your final answer. I hope it is the right one. Me too. Yay! Yeah! I hope you have recovered from your emotions because here is your new question. What is the tense of the verb in the sentence they had learned their lesson? Ew. Future, present, perfect, past, perfect, imperfect. Past perfect? I mean, I am an art major. I didn't know that. My guess would be past, because they had learned past hits. And we're all out of lifelines, right? Yeah. No, we still got 50-50. That's right. 
Anybody have any clue on this motherfucker? This motherfucker. This tense of the verb in the sentence. They had learned their lesson. <laughs> Vegas. Um, what? <laughs> I'm kind of with you on that one. I'm just taking a guess because it because it says they had learned something in past tense. So either it's C or, or D. I'm going, I think I mean C makes the most sense to me because they're talking in the past tense. All right, let's go back to the uh, hair on nutter and go with C. Callie, I have no clue. Okay, here we go. Say C. Final Come answer. on, pubic hair. Come on, pubic hair. You know what my next be question correct. is, right? Is this your final answer? That will be my final answer. Okay, the computer validated your answer. You Yay! Yeah! Half a milli. Half a milli, milli, milli. Half a, half a, half a milli, milli. Million dollar question. We got 50 50 left. So we can just use a fun. Especially since the we're probably going to have a star, clue. But you How cold is the there. Eiffel Tower? Here is a new question. I don't know. I mean, I would just guess the, t the tallest one um... just because it's tall. So my guess is A, just because it's, it's the tallest. <laughs> that's, that's my rhyme and reason to uh, A. Wasn't there a movie called 427 meters, though? <laughs> or am I just making shit up? And was it by at the, about the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Stupid American. Come on, people. Help me out here. You can thank my phone for Nutter. I was typing Nut and Nutter came up first. <laughs> Nutter's a word? Let's just do 50 50 since it's the last question anyway. Okay, let's take away two intellectual. Just narrow it down to two, and then we can just lucky guess. And A is gone, so I'm glad I didn't guess that one. So now I'm taking 427 meters. Would be my guess. What's a meter? I know, right? Fuck the metric system. <laughs> B. I was thinking me too, just because I this the number 427 meters just sounds familiar for some reason. I don't know if it relates to the Eiffel Tower or if my mind is just fucking being an asshole and making me think that I'm smarter than I really am. Of course, Michael, I won't say D. And B, we got a D. My guess would be, but I don't even know if I want to count that guess. Callie, be the tiebreaker. B or D. <laughs> um, 427 meters down is a shot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I knew that number sounded familiar. So, yeah, my guess is now moot. Callie's second D. Michael says D. Michael says B. Wait, you guys are saying D and D's not up there. You guys are fucking me. <laughs> You're fucking with me. Is it B or C? <laughs> At least it means. Oh, that's 47 meters now. Oh. <laughs> wow. 427 meters dead shark. God damn, we're all sorts of jumbled right now. And then we had two guesses for D, and D's not even up on that bitch. Should we just go with 427 meters just because of all the confusion of movies and wrong numbers on the wrong movies? And <laughs> or we could walk away with a half a million. We either drop all the way down to 32,000, we walk away with a half a million. This is B. The two Michaels say C. 
Mm. Do I vote against the woman? We got a 50 50 shot here. Fuck it. Let's go see. Because cause women don't know. Let's <laughs> see if my uh, sexist comment bites me in my ass. So let's go see. Mine is just a guess. Okay. Well, I'm going to dare to say let's see. See. Let's go. You seem to be convinced, but is this your spare final fingers? Answer? Um, that's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Come on, we need the points to unlock categories. You just we want a million dollars. We didn't cheat. I don't think. <laughs> Fucking A. Look at that, right off the bat. Who wants to be a We get to be a millionaire. A fucking millionaire. Told you it wasn't 427 meters down. <laughs> Uh, so that's, that was good. I was like, 427 meters down, that sounds like a movie, right? And then my mom was like, 427 meters down is a shark movie. And they're like, no, it's 47 meters down. <laughs> and everybody's guessing D, and D is not even up there. So, yeah, that was fun. But now we have to go to the one that's time limit. Which sucks, because obviously I need help. Hopefully you can type the fingers fast and I can see it just in time. Goddamn delay. I hate the delay between live and chat. Let's see if I can unlock any categories yet. I can unlock Disney. TV series, not quite. I want to save my points and wait for a TV series or Star Wars and Harry Potter, or should we do Disney? Because we're all a bunch of Disney's. When I'm doubt, I always choose D. <laughs> when in doubt, I always choose D. Let's uh, not Disney. Fuck it. I can always cheat on my own time and Google answers and build up more points. So let's, let's get some Disney category in there. Yeah. Boom. Now I got 860 neurons, is what the points are called. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Fucking right. I see on the, the normal difficulty, that's where we actually get to pick the categories. We have to have at least four. Let's do superheroes, entertainment, sports, and hobbies, and Disney. Those are going to be my best ones. Seeing how, with the timer, you guys might not be able to help me. Sports, Disney, entertainment, superheroes. Sounds 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 good to me. Let's get Lindsay more rich. Let's get rid of my money. These are lucky charms. You know, she's got at least 27 cats. Oh. I recently learned that there's still new episodes of Who Was Here. I didn't know they were still doing it. All right, Lucky McCoy. I'm just going to call you Lucky McCoy because you're just too similar to the guy from Family Feud. All right. Come on. Easy Disney questions. Let's focus, and off we go. The goal is to get as many right answers as possible. Please welcome our new contestant, and let's get started right away. Well, you know the money ladder. A million, 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 a million
to help you. We have four life. Yeah, I know what life is. Let's go for a whole new question. To what or whom does the queen ask whether she is the fairest of them all? The mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Her magic mirror. A. I have no doubt. See, it was good to unlock the Disney now, category. The most important question of all. You figure it out. <laughs> Rumble in the jungle. Perfect. We're making progress. We're making progress. It's time to move on to a new question. Any events are there in a triathlon? Would it be three? Uh, try. Here's that try again. The educated guess. <laughs> yeah, three. See? Vibrator. I'm the magic ready. vibrator. So this is your final answer? It makes the most yes, sense. But answer. it is a guess on my part. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. You pulled it off. Whoop, whoop. I said what what in the butt? I said what what in the butt? Here's a new question for you. What's the name of Aladdin's faithful monkey friend? Apu. Or Abu? Apu. It's P. Apu. Right? Hmm. Oh, see, now that's fucking me. Is it Apu? It's Apu, right? Not Abu. Apu. Apu. Uh, Kelly says A. Abu. All right, Disney lady, I'm going with you. Abu. And now to the most important question of all. So I can yell at you if it's wrong. Your final <laughs> that will be my final answer. Apu is the quickie mark guy. Right? <laughs> From Simpsons. Well done. Okay. You got it. Good save there, Cal. Good save. Well, that was a really close call. Phew. Because I totally would have got that wrong. Because I was thinking of Because I was thinking question. of the Simpsons, apparently. What is so special about Daredevil? He's blind. They blinded me with science. He's bald. <laughs> you have to tempt fate sometimes. Okay, see. Are you absolutely I got that blind? one. Is that your final answer? Yeah, my own blind. Um, that's my final answer. Okay. Okay. The computer validated your answer. I like the Ben Affleck movie, by the way. That is the right answer. Perfect. We're making Fucking the director's cut. <laughs> you question director's you cut does make it a good movie. At least a better movie than the theatrical release, by far. Complete the cartoon, Canary Tweety's catchphrase. I ta, I ta, put a cap. If we tap. Well, no. I ta, I ta, put a cap. I would say C. Final answer. Which fun fact? My aunt's my nickname for me when I was a kid, when I was a small child, answer? was Tweety Bird. Yes, that's and the reason why answer. is because my head was bigger oh, than my body. And it was also right shaped like Tweety Bird's head, where the cheeks went out, and then the head went in, and then the big old dome went out on top. It's just called Tweety Bird. You know, I think that's kind of a little embarrassing fact, but, you know. <laughs> He's the bomb, you know. And Good luck. <laughs> Chevy Checker is best remember for which dance? The twists. Baby, let's do the twist. Well, I'm completely stuck here. I believe in my gut and I'm choosing B. <laughs> you like my Tweety Bird? <laughs> um, Got a parakeet that's tweet. my nice. final answer. You have to let's do the twist. twist. I hope it is the right one. And it goes like this. That's what we were looking for. That's right. I used to work oh, at a 50s really fast food call. chain called Spangles. That's exclusive to Midwest. Mostly kids. It's a good fast food chain. Though. Best french fries you'll ever have. There's a new question for you. Which of the following took place for the first time in New York City in 1970? Marathon? The New York Marathon? Woodstock? 
That was in 69. General Strike, Earthquake. Definitely take place for the first time. New York Marathon. I want to say Marathon. I'm going to pull the audience. Might as well, right? Okay, guys, this is I'm this far without using the left flank. If you would pick up those keypads and enter yeah, your this is no idea. Now. Michael's going to be Woodstock. Woodstock was 69, though. Marathon. Okay, yeah. Sasha went with the gut. Marathon. Hey, I have no doubt. Final? Yes, that's my final answer. I just want to make sure. So I asked okay. the, the computer validated your answer. Bada bing! Calm and serenity are the recipe for success. Calm and serenity are the recipe. No wonder you're single. You will be asked a new question. Wish these male characters on The Simpsons is voiced by a woman. Bart Simpson. <laughs> I'm sure that it's B. Okay, we have faith. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. Bars. So let's go. She it's was a looker back in the day. Answer. Um, that's my final answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. It is the correct answer. Don't have a cow, man. That's what we were looking for. That's right. Yeah, take that. Eat my shorts. And don't lay a finger on my butterfinger, bitch. The questions follow each other and are not alike. The proof with this new question. These super pets does not exist in DC Comics world. It's crypto the super dog it is one. Beppo the super monkey is one. Kit the super cat. Ace the bat hat. Hmm. Oh man. Uh, it's either C or D, right? Beppo's one for sure. Pretty sure. Looks a C. Kit the super cat. All right, I'm gonna go with you. So using the lifeline, I'm going with you, you Michael. Let's go. Seven seconds left. Probably didn't have time to even click on a lifeline. That's my so. final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. Nice. Good job, crazy cat lady. We're making progress. <laughs> Michael Long coming in hot. Is not waiting for you. Everybody knows this for hitting Muhammad Ali beat to become the heavyweight champion of the world. And down goes Fraser. Or did he beat Sonny Listed first? Um, I'm going to okay, let's take so away. between Sonny and Joe. Please that's probably the two they're going to leave up. You know that's how it always works. Fuck it, of course. I think it's Sonny. I would say Sonny a. Liston. I just fucking watched a documentary on the asshole too, and I just watched his grandson fight tonight. Is that your final answer? That will be my final answer. His grandson All had his right. third Let's professional fight tonight. The right one answer together. by decision. Come on, don't let me miss. Okay, I was gonna say don't don't, don't let me miss a boxing question. I mean, fuck. <laughs> Will you be able to answer this new question as well? Which is the first display to take in the modern pentathlon? 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 I have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and phone a friend. Of course, you need to phone someone who knows the answer. Oh, phone a friend, you guys can help me out. Running, Michael's going running. 
Look, my childhood friend Antonio. He sounds like he might know. Antonio. Come on, Antonio. Be my oh, home. Antonio, we need your help because Lindsay is stuck on a question. Oh, I, oh, I might be able to help her, but j just maybe. Believe in yourself. That is not the accent you think of when you hear the name Antonio. Be able to help our contestant. Good evening, Antonio. Don't be afraid. This is completely up your alley. You know all about his alley, don't you, bitch? <laughs> hey, it's obvious. That, that's the right answer. Oh, he says, hey. He says it's obvious. So hey, I'm going to go with Antonio. Sorry, Mike. You can yell at me if, I, if it was indeed running. Uh, you make it Vincent, good job, Antonio. Well, that was Ooh, a really good call. Thank you. Do I get it? Is we on a time limit? And you want to answer as fast as you can. All the others just sit I there hope you have, recovered have no idea what the fuck they is your new question. It took up the wrong cow. I'm going to have to sling a cow. Eartha Kit. Not on there. I don't even recognize any of those names. Except for Kendra Saunders. Oh, fuck. I should know that. Oh, that, so that's the fictional day. Okay. Hey, Ellen Wade. Probably, right? Because a relative. Let's go with it. You have I like to it. Enjoy. Is that a Wayne? Final it would be a Wayne. That will be my final answer. You have made your choice. <laughs> nope. Holly Robinson. Son of a right bitch. <laughs> No regrets, really. I did my best. Oh, that was the wrong answer. But the good news is, you are walking. Oh, just thousand. They make the thirty-two. Huh? Oh, it did. Oh, well, that was a good run. That was a good run. Got two hundred neurons. All right. What? That wasn't easy and normal. Now let's spin the wheel for another one. I think there's three options left. Maybe we can get lucky and get Wheel of Fortune this time. But the wheel doesn't like Wheel of Fortune. Wheels discriminate against each other. Spin the wheel! <laughs> will be. Holly Robinson's the host of the stock. Yeah, I know, right? Apparently, it's also Catwoman. All right, so now we got Wheel of Fortune, Trivial Pursuit, and Jeopardy left. This advertisement to get out the way. All right, spin. Jeopardy! <laughs> Damn, no love for the Wheel of Fortune. And I wanted to play Trivial Pursuit. Picker Wheel sucks. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, we got a million. And then 32,000. That was a good little millionaire run. Jeopardy. Good old Jeopardy. Jeopardy, we get to pick the categories. If I remember. I've only played this once, and that was when I was hammered. So uh, we'll see how well it goes. Break the deal, spin the wheel. I right, lost touch Jeopardy. Hey, uh, Weird Al's coming to my tab.
on September 1st. He was my very first concert ever. We got Yankovic back in sixth grade. The finale song was the uh, the Star Wars song. Not Yoda, but the other one. For Parodies American Pie. Goddamn Sony Pitch. Wait a minute. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> what did it do? I lost in chip. What is the international statistic? This is Jeopardy. No, my am Bialik. Give me his Zomax save. Thank you. Play Jeopardy. Classic mode. Yes, we'll use that. I went to town on pop culture. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Should we just do, let's just do all pop culture and see what, what it gives us. And then we'll add a category if need be. <laughs> Let's welcome today's contestants. It would be hard and today it would be soft. Let's see what she did there. That was the chair. Come on, Susan. William. I'm going to call you Billy. Let's play Jeopardy. Songs on TV shows. Bands by Frontman. One word movies. One word movies. I like Reality that check. Reality check. You, Jane. You, Jane. Me, Tarzan. PG movie classics. PG movie classics. I like these categories. Determining starting player. Player three. Ah, oh, Billy. Category. Oh, he's going big money. One word movies for a thousand. Plays an entrepreneur. <laughs> Joy. From B. Exactly. Boom! Well played, Trebek. Now it's mine be out. Player one, which category would you like? Let's just stick with one more movies. Fuck it. Let's, let's swipe out the category. 2016, you just have a final town and Chief Bogo, the Cape Buffalo, in this Disney movie. Whoops. Oh, I pushed it too soon. Damn it. God damn it, Susan. That's not correct. I don't know though. Sing? No, that's no. correct. Damn it. God damn it. Yes. Fuck Zootopia. Fuck Zootopia. Stupid ass movie. Player anyway. three, it's your turn to choose a category. <laughs> He's going with the title birds of the 2016 anime film delivery packages instead of babies. To a pink haired little girl changes everything. Pink haired little girl. Storks. Correct. Yeah. Phrase premature as usual. Player one. Yeah. Please Aren't select a category. Clint Eastwood directed Tom Hanks in this movie about the miracle on the Hudson. That's that one dude's name. What was that? Sully. So this is where I'm going to yes. show off my pop culture intelligence. Goddamn timer. 2017 film based on true story. A five-year-old boy ends up alone on a train to Calcutta. 
Passengers. No. That's not correct. No, that's not right. And see, when I get a question wrong, see, I can't just sit here and guess, because then I lose money. That's correct. Look at that, William. God damn it, William. Player three. Which category would you like? UJ. Gene Rodriguez started playing this title character on a CW show in 2014. Gina Rodriguez. And Jane the Virgin? That's a show, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Obviously, I guess on that one. So that's not showing off the intelligence at all. Player one, pick a category. Virgin one. Uh, I don't want to do you. Look at the following Jane. image. Ah! Ah, uh, Callie doesn't know. She has no clue. That's correct. Ouch. PG movie classic for 400. Ma'am. Marshall is singing here. It's a the wax on wax off movie that spawned a franchise. Easy money. It's the karate kid. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's Star Wars. Look Jamie at the Lewis following Lewis. image. And we'll see here. Like this lizard is substituted for ASPS. And then maybe Hero says, why do they have to be snakes? Fucking like Indiana Jones, right? Raiders of the Lost Ark. But fun fact, right. I haven't seen any of the Indiana Jones movies. That's another one because my grandpa used to quote that line all the time. Observe the following image. Sean Connery! <laughs> the hunt for Red October. Oh, wait. It's the author. Grisham did that one, right? I'm sorry. Nope. No. God damn it. Puts Willie back up front. That's it. You better watch this movie. I know, right? Tom Clancy. Damn it. Player two, it's your turn to choose a category. What's up with the U Jane category? Sailor Fanning sister played a vampire named Jane in this in the Twilight films. That's uh Ellie Fanning, right? Or no, Dakota. Dakota. Yeah, Dakota was in that. I had to watch those. I was dating them, so I didn't fucking watch every single one of those motherfuckers. Player one. Stupid ass movies. Which category would you like? Let's just finish off you, Jane, then. Fuck it. I just played Jenna Maroney on Third Rock and Jacqueline White on Unbreakable King H. Smith. Krakowski? That sounds right. Yes. Okay. Don't lie. I'm not lying. I don't lie. I'm like Superman. I don't lie. She wanted to name me for hosting Hollywood Game Night. Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. 100%. Jane Lynch. You are right. Couldn't remember her name. I was going to say a dikey chick. <laughs> Look at the following image. In Tanzania in 1960, this animal behaviors began studying the animals seen here. Chimpanzee. No, oh, wait. Wait. Jane Goodall. It's just a guess. Yes. Hey, lucky guess. See, I'm better at guessing than even knowing. My intelligence. Let's finish off PG movie classics. Observe the following image. There's driver sculpting the food seen here into a significant shape in this sci-fi film. I said close encounters, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't seen that one since I was a kid. I have seen it, but it's been a long time. Yeah, close to cat. Uh, songs on TV shows. Let's just start here at the beginning. This character sings "Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat." What are they feeding you? Oh, it's Phoebe. That's one of the That's sitcoms it. I like to go to sleep to at night. Right now, though, I'm watching Roseanne. It's a daily double. Oh, Daily Double! Gonna wager for all my money! Let's do $605. <laughs> Let's 
Stevie Wonder sang Superstition Science It Delivers Art on this late night talk show. It's Carpool Karaoke. That's that one dude, the British dude, right? James Corden, yeah. Well done. I like how I have to sing the songs if I know that. Songs on TV. This Fox Show featured Shakedown, a 2015 duet between Terrence Howard and guest star Mary Jo. Oh, it's that one uh, hip hop fucking. I'll, I'll know when I see it. Empire. Yeah, Empire. That's correct. I watch Monsters. <laughs> yeah. I do watch Monsters too. That's another night night one for me. Cheese Sandwich was really saying a goof off song on this animated show that's subtitled Friendship is Magic. Why did I even try to guess this one? I don't know. Friendship is magic. So my little pony. You are right. Hey! I came up with a My Little Pony name for myself the other day, but I can't remember. It's something like Fart Sprinkles or something like that. I remember more saying the best things in life are free after his character died on this show. Just taking a guess here, uh, Mad Men. Yes. Yeah. See, I'm a good guesser. Multiple choice. That's how I got through schools because multiple choice. Bands by Frontman. Adam Levine. That's uh, Maroon Five. Maroon Five. Maroon Six. Maroon Five. That's correct. Chris Martin. Uh, 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 what the? I'll react to this. I want to see it. Coldplay. Dude, that's married to Gwyneth Paltrow. That's Dude, it. I can't stand. I can't stand Gwyneth Paltrow. Coldplay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I, I knew I knew, I knew it if I didn't want to see it. Nate Ruse. I don't know. Don't know. Well, let's take a guess. Fun. We are young. Indeed. Hey, look at that. I'm a damn good guesser. Tom York. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. I know this one. I just got to see the name. I got to see the name. Radiohead. Duh. 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 Yes, correct. Son of a bitch. Yeah, Radiohead. Michael coming in hot. Quest Love, that is uh, the late night show fucking band. Roots, yeah, Roots. Indeed. Uh, fucking ace to that category. Look at all that money. Whipping that ass. Charlie and Mr. T competed for the Mirrorball Trophy on season 24 of this series. Is Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Yes. See, I like the pop culture category. It gives me fun, fun categories. Fun agories. Really check. On 2017 episode of this show, Mark Cuban said, I'm out while Robert Lula sunk his teeth and money. And it's a shark, the shark, shark tank. Good old Mark Cuban. Exactly. The owner of the Dallas Mavericks. Rally check for 600. Show Cutthroat Kitchen and Chopped kept it real on this cable channel. And then Fox? I say Fox. Nope, just kidding. So Food Network, right? Because it's yes. about food. That's just an uh, obvious educated guess there. It's so sad you had another job to a schedule when Little Big Shots premiered in 2016. <laughs> Steve Harvey. Well done. Yeah. Last clue. Okay, running with it. Boys and judges for season 12 of The Voice include Gwen Stefani and this girl on fire. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Is she black? Is she white? We don't know, but her name is Alicia Keys. And it's not her real name. That's correct. The last name is Keys because she plays the piano. AKA Here are the Keys. scores. Take that, William. Susan, you're going home in a cardboard box, bitch. Let's take a look at the Double Jeopardy rounds categories. 
Don't tell me what Women happened. in sports. Women in sports. Star Wars oh, I'm forever. Star Wars! Hockey history. Hockey! But I don't know Hip -hop history of hockey. Hip-hop and rap. Well at all. <laughs> Clothes make the character. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Angelina Jolie gets her own category. <laughs> oh, I don't get to pick Susan does. Susan's going straight to Star Wars 2000. This film, the first film in the series, released on Blu ray in this year, 34 years after its theatrical premiere. That'd be a new hope. Oh, wait, that's the year 2011. That's right. That was a kind of guess. That's, that one. just that sounded Please right. Select a category. Let's keep it in Star Wars. For full hundy. Spoiler alert, near the end of Force Awakens, this actor from the original trilogy is revealed from under a hood. That would be Mark Hamill, aka Luke Skywalker. Mark Hamill. Bada bing, bada boom, we're this guy in the room. How you doing? You are right. Star Wars forever! This 26 Star Wars story had a worldwide box office total of 290 million in its opening weekend. Is it solo? Oh, oh no, Rogue One. Rogue One. Indeed. Duh. 2015 was Force Wiggins, and 2016 was Rogue One. 2018 was Solo. Attack of Clones and Revenge of Sith, this old Jedi Master was entirely computer generated. Yoda. Yoda, you see. That's correct. Damn right, it's correct because it's Star Wars. SNL star Bill Hader lent his vocal skills to the surround rolling droid BB 8. <clears throat> correct. This is weird. But they actually got like an actual name, like Bill Hader, to do that. Just go over here to women in sports. Let's see how well I know women in sports. I still love all after up. She'd be a sister either. Venus. I almost watched that movie the other day, the, the, the King Richard about their dad. Yes, correct. So it was a bomb. Well, it was a Star Wars bomb. It still made a lot of money. It was just a Star Wars bomb. In 2008, she revved up to become the first woman to win an Indy car race, the Indy Japan 300. Danica Patrick. That's it. She used to bang Aaron Rodgers. She's kind of a twat. Seems like, like in interviews and shit. Misty Mead Trainer and Carrie Walsh won the USA Beach Volleyball 20th Olympics in this city. 2004. 2004. Let's see. I don't remember. Precisely. Lucky guess. <laughs> Lucky fucking guess. Which one of the voice was Stan's gay dog on site? Yeah, I remember that. Before, before South Park was even the huge force that it was, George Clooney still did it. Because he's a fucking, he's a, he's a, he's a team player like that. Designated this fear skater added the title winner to Dancing with the Stars. Damn it, William. Let me read it first. No, it's not. <laughs> it was a Yamaguchi? That's right. Right. Yamaguchi-san. Yeah, Yamaguchi. I used to watch the shit out of figure skating when I was a kid. Before scoring that winning goal in 1990 Women's World Cup, she played soccer for a Japanese team. Oh, I'll know the name when I see it. Brady Chastain. Exactly. Doing pretty good in this category. One of them was a lucky guess, but the rest of them I knew. Let's see how well I know my hockey history. I love hockey, but I didn't get into it until recent years. 2005 regular season game still tied after a five minute overtime to decide about what I need. <clears throat> yes, correct. We're in the money. The Vizina Trophy given to players in this position was first awarded in 1927. 
No clue. Uh, let's go with goalie. You are right. <laughs> My guessing skills are on point tonight. 2000 NHL expanded to third teams, adding the Minnesota Wild and the Blue Jackets of this Ohio City. Columbus. <laughs> Bet Michael Long even knew that one. Okay, yes. Job and just wasn't here for hockey. What the fuck? I know, right? <laughs> Air Canada Center opened on February 2019 with the six and third game between the Maple Leafs and these longtime rivals. Montreal Canadiens or the Edmonton Oilers for the Vancouver. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Canadians. You are right. That was a kind of an educated guess. And the first pro hockey team in the U.S. were the Rosebuds of this North City. I don't know. I have no clue. That's not correct. I, my guessing skills failed me finally. Let's see if you're That's right. Correct. Oh, look at Michael with the, the hockey knowledge. <laughs> Player three, pick hip -hop. category. Oh, I don't get to pick right now. Well, at least they'll pick hip hop. 2013 is showing them the new classic was nominated for a Grammy for best rap album. <sighs> too modern. I only know old hip hop. I'm going to go with Nicki Minaj. That is not Damn correct. It. So then it's Iggy Azalea, right? That's right. Damn it. Ah, I might go with his Iggy knowledge. <laughs> Hip hop rap for his hotline bling generated over a billion views on YouTube. I think I might know if I see the name. I don't know. I don't know. Kendrick Lamar. No, it's not. I don't. I don't know modern day hip hop. Give me '90s hip hop. Now I got you. Early 2000s hip hop. Got you. Correct. From Chance the Rapper. Was it Chance the Rapper? Player two. Which category would you like? Rapper J. Cole shares the first name with a member of the Jackson 5. Jermaine. See, I only know that one because. You are correct. I know the Jackson 5. And those other two J names were not player name. one. Jackson Please Fox. select a category. That's what you call an educated guess. Bounce back rappers 2015 album Dark Sky Paradise, which kind of Lil Wayne and Ariana Grande. <sighs> Big Sean. I don't know modern rap. Exactly. Hey, finally a lucky guest came in. Hey, there, Callie's back. She missed the job. It's question. <laughs> so, you go. TV's Don Glover hit the charts with the album because of the internet. That's a uh, childish Gambino. I know that one. Just because I'm a fan of uh, yes. Donald Glover. He's a funny dude. <laughs> Clothes make the character. Let's Look at the following about. image. Passionate fairy tales and just thought I'm seeing here to the story. Cinderella, Cinderella, Precisely. <laughs> Don't cry, Kelly. It is okay. It's three o'clock in the morning where you are. It's understandable. <laughs> Observe the following image. You know, standing for this family matters character. Steve Urkel. <laughs> Got any cheese? Well done. Did I do that? Make the cake. Daily double. <laughs> da -da -da -da. How much money are you wasting? God damn, I want to daily double. Let's go big bucks, no enemies. Since I got so much money anyway, let's go 1905. <laughs> Look at the following image. Fess Parker wore the tap cats. He played the real life frontiersman in Congress. 
That's uh that's a Davy Crockett head, right? Or is it Davy Boone? No, I'm going Davy Crockett because that was my first guess. You are correct. Show me the money. It's a daily double. God damn it. <laughs> How much would you like to wager? Ten thousand fifteen thousand and five dollars. Observe the following image. Actually, completes the ensemble for this character who had a big holiday on Netflix in 2016. Ah, Pee Wee. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> Look at the following image. Yeah, Pee Wee. Hey, Vegas. Based on real life progress of this judge character was type of pants seen here. I know this one. Sergeant Slaughter. Precisely. You maggot. Hulk Hogan. Angelina Jolie. And these children got a kick out of recording animal noises for a toy system. Well, when she played Tiger. That's Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is the answer we are looking for. Kung Fu Panda. Indeed. Oh my god, what? What? <laughs> Jane Smith, Angelina, ask him any last words as John Smith. He's replied the new. Videos. What are they asking here? I know the answer. Right? Yeah, Brad Pitt. Okay. I was like, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Correct. It was one of those two. 50 G's all up in your pussy. Oh, gross. Before directing American Sniper, he directed Angelina Jolie and Angelina and said, most gorgeous face on the planet. <sighs> Oliver Stone? Sorry, but that's incorrect. I feel like I should know that, and I don't. Now I'm below 50 Gs. Right. I'm no longer rich. Uh, was it clear? Player three, <laughs> it's your turn to choose a category. Can I say so? Both went to Beverly Hills High School, both also have Oscars. Was it, did it Cage have an Oscar? Guess so. Exactly. What are you an Oscar for? Here's the last clue. Fox. E. Angelina tells a fellow assassin to curve a bullet in this 2000. Wanted! Precisely. Wanted. Wanted! Final Jabber. See, this is fun just because I like the, the pop culture questions. They don't give me fucking history and geography. How and much all money that. are you wagering? <clears throat> Let's go big. <clears throat> God damn it. All or nothing. The four major U.S. sports leagues. He won more regular season MVP awards than any other player. It's either Kareem or Wayne. I'm going with Kareem. Come on, Kareem. Oh, no. Exactly. That's the great one. Son of a bitch. And just like that, I lost. Fuck me. That's not what we I were going for. The great one. Let's not see my response. That one with Sorry, the but that's incorrect. Dog. Did I still win, though? No, Susan edged me out. God damn Here it. Here are the final placements. <laughs> Can't believe I fucking did this. Got ballsy. And the winner of Jeopardy walks up in 800 bucks. <laughs> Very little experience points. We're going to have to play again on that one. I just need to go up here really quick. Damn it! Can't believe I did that.
Callie's that funny? I don't find it funny. Time to redeem myself here. Play again, Trey. They'll give me new questions, though, right? <sighs> this is fun, though. I like the little wheel picker thing, the little random wheel generator thing. I'll have to replace remote control with a different game next time, though. And just use it for different nights where I have multiple games. Put the games in, let it pick at random. I like the little wheel picker thing. I'm Introducing out. our contestants. Good night, Kelly. At least you had the wherewithal to say good night this time instead of uh, just passing out. <laughs> Let's start the Jeopardy round with the following categories. That was when you don't listen to me. <laughs> Everyone marks. knows I'm an expert with hockey trivia. Factors, yeah, sure, wins. Michael. <laughs> hockey teams' homes. Oh, well, here you go, Michael. Debut Here's some more hockey. Songs you can see. The NBA. I'm sure, you're an expert in the NBA too, right? Who gets to go first? Player one. It's me. Select Whoa. a category. Let's just start at the beginning. Work our way down. We got to do all of them anyway. It's NBC. Jimmy Joe. Takani says he was one of them. Yeah, they story. Takani West hasn't read it all. Romeo and Juliet. Harder, Walker, Walker. That would be Jimmy Fallon because he's NBC. If they wouldn't have told me the you TV right. network, I wouldn't know. I'm a Conan guy, and he's gone now, so I don't watch any late night shows. I'm just here. Sheldon explain one cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because of the stupid that makes me sad. That's the Big Bang Theory. Yes. Yeah, they get too hard questions right. That makes me next for right. For you, yes. Because it's sports, and you, you've made it well known that you're not a sports guy. So for you to get two hockey questions, not just even general sports questions, hockey questions, I'm gen, genu, genuinely impressed. Shut the bunny ear, Claire Louise. Bob's Burgers. That's right. Damn right it's right. Let's win a bunch of money and then gamble it all again on the final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. In the sitcom, Manny wants to be in junior congress to make a difference. Jay says, regular congress can't even make a difference. Walker, Walker. Manny, Manny, Manny. Manny's a modern family, right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I didn't watch any of those shows, but I've seen Modern Family a few times. It's Kimmy Schmidt. She said some things are just wrong, like it and, uh, and Tracy said. Ellie Kemper, if we're going for the actual chick's name. Yeah, Ellie Kemper. The fucking, she's like the most adorable person on planet Earth, Ellie Kemper. Especially in the show The Office. She plays Aaron. Fucking adorable. Neil Patrick Harris. Actor's middle names. I didn't even read the category. <laughs> I think this one will be easy. Precisely. When they use their middle names, they're usually memorable. Right? Let's see. Sarah so Jessica Parker. Yeah, see? These will just roll right off the tongue. Just roll right off my tongue. You are right. I am right. Thank you. There you go. Names for six hundred. Evan Rachel Wood. Roxanne. You are correct. I take the lid off my soda instead of the company. Take it off and put it back on. Daily double. Ah, God damn. I don't like daily double. How much would you like to wager? Much money. Let's do. You know what? That's bad at all. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Boom. Well done. So the way these categories go, the only way I'm going to lose is if I just bet all my money every time. Like I lost on the last fucking round. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I know people's middle name. Yay! That's right. Damn right, that's right. 
All right, here we go. Hockey teams. Hockey team Sonos Mask. We're going as home eyes for this team. New York Rangers. Bada bing, bada boom. Indeed. Bread makes me poop. Fun facts. 35 octopuses were tossed on the ice during this team's final game at Joe Louis Arena in 2017. That is the Detroit Red Wings. And that's disgusting. That's right. With a capacity of under 15,000 people, the NHL Smalls Arena is the Winnipeg team's MTS center. Winnipeg Jets. <clears throat> Yes. And thanks for letting me know that bread makes you poop. I appreciate that. Say, happy colon is, is a clean colon. Formerly known as the Pond, California's Honda Center is home to this team, the Ducks. Quack, quack. That's right. Mm, 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 mm. Hockey teams, what the hell? This Colorado Avenue Arena has a name you can taste. Pepsi Arena. Pepsi Center, excuse me. That's it. Look how smart I am! 2006, it's about time to be these brothers. Didn't do so well, but thanks to the Disney Channel, their second album was huge. The Jonas Brothers? Precisely. I mean, that's just uh, obvious. The guy that says, yeah, he says on Crank Anchors. <laughs> oh, that's right. Special aid. You got mail! It's 2014 album in the Lonely Hour featured the worldwide smash Stay With Me. And that, uh, the Smith dude, Sam Smith? You are correct. Yeah, I kind of knew that one. Proud of myself on that one. Proud of myself on the back on that one. This group's license to ill was the first hip hop on hit number one. Beastie Boys. Look That's that. right. First hip hop album to hit number one was a group of white dudes. How funny is that? 2009, Cy No More was this London based band's full length debut. Hmm. Mumford and Sons. You are right. Hey, that was just a lucky gift. I ain't scared of it. The Way was the first single from her 2013 debut album, Yours Truly. The Way. Yay. I don't know. Ariana? Precisely. Uh, hey, Mark Arena. I? Songs you can see. Hmm. Let's watch this short video. Oh. Wrecking Ball. <laughs> That's funny. Miley Cyrus, cause she came in like a wrecking Indeed. ball. Let's Let's see what other songs we image. can The duo known as Dawn, as Tony sang about the object seen here. Hmm. Tony Bennett? No, that's nope. incorrect. Nah, no clue. I'm not no tree hugging hippie. That's <clears throat> right. Good job, Willie. Player three, which category would you like? Look at the following <laughs> image. Panorama and the shocking blue both went on the number of going to outer space with this song. Mm -hmm. Jupiter? I have no fucking clue. Not the That's not what we were going for. Yeah. Venus, do you know that? Yes. Well, look at you. I have the slightest fucking clue. Player two, 
Please select a category. Observe the following image. The object seen here was by this body of water. Cake by the lake. Cake by the lake. <laughs> no, that's it. Just, it, it rhymed, so I, what, what was it? No idea though. Cake by the ocean. That's right. We did right. We did. Good job, Susan. Oh, switched over to the NBA. He led the Nets to the ABA championship in 1983. He led the 76ers to the NBA title. Oh, I know this. I know this. I know this. I know this. Julie Serving. Dr. J. You are right. Yeah. Good old Dr. J. I hate it when people change categories. Which category like, would you like? Fuck something. Like the what, ADD or something. Look at the following image. It's the Imagine Dragon song that could be represented by the symbol seen here. Radioactive. I was going to say, I know this song. Just can't think of That's it. right. Yeah. What in Moses Malone? NBA. Okay, this is my category right here. No arrests were made after John Stockton left the NBA with a record 3,265 steals. He didn't even need to put the little punny joke at the beginning. Well I still done. Got it. Way to give away the answer there. <laughs> he won an NBA title with the Mavericks in 2011, retired two years later, and became the coach of the Bucks in 2015. That's Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd, for sure. 100%. That's correct. Sports ball for six hundred. He's the longest serving commissioner. He was succeeded by Adam Silver in 2014 and recently died. That's uh, David Stern. I can't remember his Indeed. name. I knew once I saw it, I remember. Last clue. Opening 20th Barclays Center is home court of this NBA team, the Brooklyn Nets. Jesus. At the end of the Jeopardy round, here are the placements. I don't like how much money they have. I don't approve. For the Double Jeopardy round, the categories are 80s movie quotes, not a baseball 80s movie quotes, nice. Movie star lives, King Kong. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. And cinema, before they were pop stars. All right, I like these categories. What you picking, Willie? Going before they were pop stars, huh? 1995, this is just the way you are. Singer performed at the age of four as an Elvis birthday. Bruno Mars. He's the same age as me. Player one, please select a category. Let's go back to the beginning, damn it. You're fucking me up. Drew Barrymore asks of this title character, is he a pig? He sure eats like one. E.T. Precisely. Hades. There we are. E.T. Good job, Michael. Hades. Oh, my God. She said to find her, don't be such a guppy. Well, that's obvious. It's the Little Merman. Or Ariel. <laughs> you are correct. That is correct. Now Chris Farley takes off his shirt. I'm taking his ninth sick day of the semester. This character said it's getting pretty tough coming up with new illnesses. Ferris Bueller. That's it. In this film, Clever Lane. Oh, come on. I mean, come on. Obviously, I know this one. Rocky Three. Right. Where Mickey dies. 
Mickey! I talked to Peter Finkman. This actor was slimed in Ghostbusters, causing him to say, I feel so funky. That's an easy one, too. Come on now. Come on now. But I bet a lot of the really smart Jeopardy players would miss these kind of fucking questions. <clears throat> they only know the real sophisticated, Indeed. smart, intelligent fucking questions. Me, I'm a pop culture guy. Not a baseball bat. Observe the following image. It's a hockey stick. My bat is used in this sport. <laughs> Another hockey question. That's it. Yeah, right. I bet you do that while hockey one too, did you, Michael? Because you just look hockey at the following genius. image. I am seen here in a frame kept in the basement, right around the table that's used for playing this sport. Ping pong, ping pong. Well done. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. Observe the following image. Croquet. Okay. Croquet, okay. You are correct. Croquet. Croquet. Look at the following image. Six here can be used to throw a ball or to poke a ball carrier in this sport. Lacrosse. That's it. My baby mama played lacrosse. Observe the following image. Band equipment seen here are used in this international sport. Cricket. That's correct. That is correct. Movie star lives. Morton has penned unauthorized biographies of both Angelina and Julie and this Mission Impossible star. Well, that's a good one. Indeed. Indeed. Tom Cruise run. <laughs> and Lucky Man, he wrote about his childhood in Canada, starred him on a TV and a film, and his battle with Parkinson's. Well, that's an obvious one, too. Michael J. Fox. I have that book. Well done. I do. I don't remember where I put it. I think it's in a box somewhere. But I do have that book. Bossy Pants is a look into the life of this movie and TV actor writer. Uh, maybe Tina Fey. It's a guess. Correct. Educated guess, but a guess nonetheless. She wrote her first memoir, A Little Girl Lost, at 14. Her follow up video, Optimistic Wildfire, was published when she was 40. Hmm. Drew Barrymore, child actor. That's it. I mean, educated guess again. Kind of the early years of his career and born born standing up at comics life. Chris Rock. That's not correct. Nope. That was all bragging about how I read biographies earlier. Didn't read that one though. So then Steve Moore. Yes. Yeah, no, nope, not carrying. Well, you're three. Pick a category. Before they were pop stars, he borrowed 2500 from his babysitter to record demos under a different name. No, wanting to trade on Father Julio's name. Enrique! You are right. Damn right, I'm right. Because I can be your hero, baby! Category. Before they were pop stars. This call me maybe singer spent her younger years in British Columbia. I'll know the name when I see it. Carly Rae Jepsen. Precisely. That song was the most annoying fucking song. Known for hiding her face in public, this chandelier singer is Saya or whatever. 
CSI. I like that song, Chandelier. Yes, Catchy, it's groovy. It's empowering. It's about getting drunk as shit. <laughs> so DJ worked in supermarkets and had a stint in a fish factory before collaborating with Rihanna on We Found Love. No idea. <laughs> Stevie Aoki. That is not correct. Was it Skrillex? Skrillex was a singer first, though. Like in a band. I can't remember the band. It was an emo band. You are right. So I eliminated Skrillex. So I might I'll pat two. myself in the back on that it's one. Your turn to choose a King Kong. All right. A daily double. Ah, I didn't get the daily double this time. How much but money I can't are answer. you waiting? I like King Kong. That's what King Kong with 363. Be part of the tour at this LA area movie studio. Sadly, that's not it. I was saying it's universal. Yeah. My Abe got a silver screen reboot in 2017 of the film titled Kong Skull Island. I have me a King Kong yes, marathon correct. every year, so I feel like I should know these. Player one, please select a category. In the original version, King Kong's dreams come crashing down to Earth at this New York City landmark, <clears throat> the Empire State Building. Duh. <laughs> That's right. Empire State of Mind. King Kong. Daily Double. Yeah. How much do you want to wager? How much I got? 35000 Let's go for it all. Next feature he directed after the return of the king was a new version of King Kong. Peter Jackson. Boom. Doubled my shit you just are like correct. that. Just like that, I got 70 G's. And it's last line, the night's I'm stressed that it wasn't airplanes. It was it was beauty that killed the beast. That's correct. Ah, King Kong. I don't like King Kong. Recent cinema. How recent are we talking here? The Go followed its 2014 blockbuster with this 2017 Lil Arnett offering. Batman Lego movie. A Lego Batman movie. That was a good yes, one. Correct. Yeah, Batman. Good job, Michael. Recent cinema. In 2016, Gal Gadot began playing this superhero in the DC universe. The Wonder Woman movie. Wonder Woman. Sticks. Exactly. Charlize Theron played a villain named Cypher in the 27th movie, the 8th in the series. Fast and Furious, baby. The fate of the Furious, I should say. You are correct. Damn right. I know my Fast and Furious. It's one of my favorite franchises. <clears throat> and the boss, baby. The parents are voiced by Jimmy Kimmel and this friend star. <coughs> hmm. I didn't see the boss, baby. Lisa Kudra? Yes. Hey, lucky guess. Here is the last clue. And I shouldn't have split a star of this actor who played the title role in 2015's Victor Frankenstein. <coughs> it's that one guy. What the fuck is his name? <clears throat> James McEnroe. James McAvoy. McEnroe. That's a fucking tennis player. James McAvoy. <coughs> exactly. There we go. Not sound so groggy anymore. Everyone McAvoy. made it yeah. to Final Jeopardy. All right, 78,000. How much would you like to wager? Let's not fuck it up this time. 
She's the only woman to win Emmys in all three comedy categories: the lead, supporting, and guest. The last was for hosting SNL. Is it Betty? That's not correct. Betty White's still on the board. Pretty sure it's Betty. Cause that was during the big Betty White yes. wave. Correct. Yay! Taking home the big books. You are correct. That is correct. Here are the final I could really use that right now. Boom. Our champion today is Categories Unlocked. You have unlocked a new master rank. Because I am the master. Huh? All right. Well, should I, uh, Spin the wheel and see what uh game gets left out. So we'll, we'll play five tonight, and then one game just won't get played. Because I know you're still awake, Michael. You don't sleep just like me. <laughs> so let's see. Which game will not get played? It was master ranking. <laughs> he was masturbating. All right. <clears throat> it's either Trivial Pursuit or Wheel of Fortune. Let's see if the wheel shits on Wheel of Fortune for the entire night. It's got a 50 for the shot. <laughs> That's funny. Now the picker wheel is avoiding Wheel of Fortune. Just advertising it out of fucking way. Alright, here we go. Spin. Franklin Benz. He was masturbating. Oh, Trivial Pursuit gets left in the dust. Damn, that's the one I wanted to play, too. <laughs> Right on. So no trivial pursuit tonight. But we'll finish off with some Wheel of Fortune. And it's down to two. Big surprise, Michael. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, look at that. The internet's being stupid. Wheel of Fortune. Poor Trivial Pursuit. I feel like I should play Trivial Pursuit. After I end the live stream, just because I feel sorry for it. And be silly. Locomotion for me. Do I not even have a safe slot? Wow. Classic. Oh, well, okay. My guy's still in there. Okay. Thank you. 
work our way up. Well, there's still another person watching. I might have fallen asleep, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for tonight's host? Are you ready? Hello, everyone. I wonder why they didn't get the likenesses of the actual host in the shows. Like, no Steve Harvey, no Pat Sajak, no Regis Philbin. You know, he's good. Or that chick that host so many years after he did. Thank you for joining us today. Your outfit looks quite interesting. You must have visited the customization menu. I'm against Arya and well, Maya. It doesn't say much. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Hmm. Simon, how are you doing today? Hi. Uh, uh, this is our $1,000 toss-up round. The category is living thing. Beat it, Oh, right. Living thing. Candlewood. Contestant number oh, three. Tree. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no, it's not even tree. No, yeah, it is. She fucked it up. So now I can try this. Can no, let me do it. Ahead. You bitch, you didn't give me a chance to chime in. It's I time for you. a toss up round for $2,000. The cat shut up. Damn it. Something may apply. Restrictions may apply. Number three. I pushed it. Did I push the right button? Oh, I forgot how to play this. <laughs> Are we all ready to start? Yes. Well, let's get to our places. Shall we go Fuck. ahead and start I'm off the round? Terrible start on the category fortune. is before and after. Contestant number three, why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? Yes, spin it, bitch. Sit on it and spin. Oh, eight hundred. Oh. Yes, we have some teams. Do we? Don't go and spend all that at once. Don't double fist pump. You got one fucking right. You are not that good. Will we card. get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. Spin. Full power. Look how handsome and smart I am. Just like in real life, right? <laughs> Ooh, almost bankrupt. Six hundred. I always go with S first. Yes, we have some S's. Ooh, that's a back fair bit of cash you picked up. Back to back S's. Before and after. Spin. Break that one. Hey, this sets out the vibration for real hard. 700. Will we get any help on this? Oh. It seems we're out of luck. Oh, I should have guessed P just in case that second word is passed. 500. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Whoa. What vowel would you like? We have oh, a one. She's dropping the bucks. One of them. No, just the one arm fist pump this time. This is close. We got another viewer. Hello, new viewer. 800. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Hmm. I didn't have vibrates the shit. Yeah, I need to put my controller on my balls. Give me a nice little ball tickle. We have one. Ah, I was right. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Buy a vowel. Give me an A. You'd like to buy a vowel? We have one A. Ah, only one A. Well, I saw the middle word real fast. <laughs> yeah. 
break my fucking controller as hard as that wow. one. Ooh, twenty-five hundred dollars. H. Hoping that that yeah, word is the. Uh, yep. Nice. That was Good a big job. money. Keep that going, and you'll be heading home a winner tonight. Not bad. Sure, you can buy a vowel. Oh. Yes, we have some E's. Hmm. Something past us. Uh, before and after. I don't know. Whoa! Oh no! Ooh, I'm sorry. Fuck you. That was an unlucky spin. Just my luck. Let me see. Something. Better than this. I'm fucking better than this. I'm sorry. There are none on the board. Ah, oh, oh. Ah, guys, I'm oh. It. Ha -ha. Ouch. Bankrupt is always a painful one. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Will we get any help yeah, but... on this? It seems we're out of luck. You're fucking out of luck. Oh, 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 Do we have any of those? Just guess a Q. No. I'm oh, sorry. Dummy. Don't you dare to get that 25 on we have one V. A V, huh? So. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Six hundred. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. I'm fucking stumped as a fucking tree stump. Yes, we have some M's. Movie past the time. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? Boom. Mic drop. So that was pretty sad because. We got it all the way down to where there was just fouls left. <laughs> as much as I enjoy standing here, I'm ready to get the show started. Shall we go ahead and start the round? The category is place. Place. Let's get this many round letters we got. with the first spin. Some big words there. All right, let's spin. Amazing kit. The fuck is that? Yes, we have some S's. Two S's. Go ahead and pick up the card from the Ooh, my amazing kit. This oh, kit fuck is that worth is. one thousand dollars. I would like to solve. Just kidding. <laughs> place, place, place. Two S's. This was too much. That bears it down. Six fifty. C. Yes, we have some C. Hmm. Let's go that all at once now. Let's go and throw a vowel in there. Like to buy a vowel, you like to buy a vowel? Only one. Fuck. I'm gonna waste money. A half a car! Yeah! Let's see if I get a half a car. Let's, let's do R. Unfortunately, ah, no half a car for me. Son of a bitch. Six 
600. We have one team. One team. Well, that's a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. Why don't you show me your we certainly got the money. Teams. We have one A. Only one A. Hmm. Five hundred. Five hundred. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. No wise for you. No half a car for you either. Five fifty. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, That's there are right? none on the board. I'm sorry. Guess I do have it on easy. Yeah. Vibration station. No! You chode. So sorry. Finally get to spin. And then once I get to spin, it's like we're gonna take your money. Seven hundred. Do we have any of those? No. I'm sorry. No. Any stupid internet. Six hundred. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. Mm, bam. God damn it! It's me this time. I'm sorry. Bankrupt, then lose a turn, and then fuck. And these people are guessing Q's and Z's. And... Really, but they get a half a card. Yes, we have some hands. That's for better ball when you need to. <laughs> right? I know you must be excited to go hop in that Two ladies to hit on. Still have some of the show left. I played some of that game on my own last night. Like still didn't unlock any characters. Got me a couple of dates, but still didn't unlock it. So I think I have to unlock it on the hard, the tough one category. If you'd like to buy a vowel, yes, we have some something gold. vacation. No, it's not wait, it's not vacation because the name would be up there. Location. Something located. Five hundred. Let me see. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Undisclosed location. Six hundred. Oh, look at look at being coming in out of nowhere. Welcome back, buddy. Undisclosed location. Yep, you got it right when I did. You probably got it before I did, but thanks to That's the delay, I get to feel like life. I got it before you did. <laughs> I cheat like that. <laughs> But every time I spin, I'm either bankrupt or lose a turn, so it's not like it matters that I it's fucking know it. So take another spin. Do we have any of those? No, I'm sorry. I do need boost the difficulty. They're guessing some stupid shit. Yes, we have some elves. <laughs> Tell me you can solve it. That all at once. Don't fucking fist roll. Contestant number three. Go ahead Damn. and solve. Maybe I shouldn't have the difficulty though, because I didn't. But every time I spin, bankrupt or lose a turn. Wow, that is incredible. Oh, How fuck you off. With that? You're here at the right time. It's time for the prize. Oh, she's barely edging me. We'll be getting a special but prize on honey. top of the cash. The category is thing. Thing. Contestant number two, go ahead and take the first. Ooh, we got a hyphen in there. Yeah. Ha ha! That's about as painful as bankruptcy gets. Ooh. I want to play. Mm. Got a fancy, pretty fucking panel. We have one hell. Same. That's a lot of money you won there. 
You got some weird little dance moves and shit. Yes, we have some teas. Uh, I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Bishop. I don't have a guess, but that's wrong. <laughs> I think I lose a toy in your picture. Two things that Faye always has. Oh, It's sad because it's true. Wow. Oh, damn. One million miss it, dollars. Miss it, Hold on miss tight it, to that. Miss it. Unfortunately, ah. that's not what we need. Oh, finally, I can play. So you still not playing. Don't you fucking do it! Oh, no. You'll have to move <laughs> on to the Damn! Ah. Five hundred. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. You can certainly buy a vowel. Yes, we have some eyes. Yeah, yeah. God damn you, your little fist roll dance. I'd like to buy a vowel. Yes, we have some eyes. <sighs> Thing. Thing is a very loose hint there. Thing. Stop spinning. Get damn me. I know, maybe I should do like a half a spin. 500. I'm sorry, there are none on the. I'll try the half a spin technique. Bang. Oh, damn, it's still before. Try to stop. <laughs> hey, you get a chance for the half a car again. All right. I finally get to play. Let's, let's do one. Oh, yes. one. Ah, there we go. Wow, good job. On, Gotta have a car. Let's see if I can get the other half. <laughs> Nope, just no money. I give him fucking bankrupt. We have one F. So that's a nice little guess because I was thinking the first word is free. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. I do, don't I? Spin. Let me guess an R. Light spin. Barely touched and he still spun the fuck out of it. It's gonna land on fucking big bro. It doesn't matter how hard I fucking spin it. Unfortunately, it looks like you won't be going home with that today. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like I said, no chemistry, and now. Gotcha. 600. We have one. Well, yeah. Great job. That's quite a bit of cash in your pocket now. Three. The hype is so good. Five hundred. Will we get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. You've certainly got the money. We have one A. God damn, what is that? What foul would really you like throw to me yes, fuck off. have some O's? Consultation. Three something in consultation. Come on, let's go. Seven. I already guessed S. Oh yeah. No, yeah, that's right. Right. Free in something consultation. Good job. Keep that going and you'll be heading home a winner tonight. What's that fucking second part of that word? Six fifty. Unfortunately, that's yeah. Go ahead and guess an X, dumbass. All right, let's see. Bankrupt or lose a turn? Which one's it gonna be? Oh, Almost right. lose a turn. Seven hundred. We have one C. That's a lot of money you want. Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. 
700. Free in-home consultation. God damn. Good job. Keep that going and you'll be I feel stupid. It looks like you're ready to solve contestant number one. Please. No, not income, in home. I was yeah, pretty it sure might have been income with that iPhone there. Good job. In home consultation. You're going to Japan. Go to Japan. Going to the Far East. Take a journey to Japan. Aww. Enjoy the entertainment in Tokyo or check out all the best. I hate restaurants. sushi. Later, it's time to leave the city and take a hike in the mountains and see the wonderful cherry blossoms. It's seven thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. It's That's time to start trip. another toss-up round for three thousand dollars. The category is proper name. Proper name. All right. Contestant number. I pushed it first. Oh, damn it! Let's go ahead and start the round. The right category is same name. I'll give the wheel one last I'm sorry, there are none on the board. Yes, we have some S's. Gosh, anything an S in here? That's a lot of money you won there. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? Doesn't even give me the option to solve. Oh, I guess I'd have to, no, I'll just pass. I have no idea. Same name. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. No, we don't seem to have any of those. Hmm. No, we don't seem no to C's. have any of those. All right. Yes, we have some O's. Oh, that's right. I can pick vowels. Duh. Contestant number two, your chance to... Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yes, we have some A's. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? No. We have one R. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Mm. Contestant number two, would you like to solve? Pandora's and something's box. Are done on the board. We have one E. Okay, so Pandora's and Don't something's go and spend box. All that now. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? <sighs> Don't know that fucking second word. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. No, we don't seem to have any of those. Pandora's something's box. We have one D. Oh, one D. Come on, I need help with that second one. Pandora. Your pocket now. Contestant number one. Pandora's more chance to solve. Just, uh, don't know that fucking second word. We have one N. Well, that's a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. 
Contestant number two, your chance to solve. We have one K. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Mm. Contestant number three, would you like to solve? We have one P. God damn it. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? Single one on the board. I'm sorry. We have one. Good job. What the fuck is that for? I'm a winner tonight. Contestant number three. Your chance to solve. There are none on the board. I'm sorry. We have one W. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Contestant number three. Would you oh. Like wow, that is incredible. Squawk box. To come up really? with that. Miller's and squawk box. Our lucky Oops. contestant looks eager to start the bonus round, so let's get over there. Would you follow me over here, please? On the map, we'll throw R S T L N and E up on the board as always. Contestant, would you please choose three consonants and a vowel? I know. Even when I'm not drinking, I have a fucking baby better. A lot of labia. Switched over to a lot of labia, huh? <laughs> ah, shit. I didn't realize I got the fucking thingy. Few moments to solve, so go quickly. Damn it. I thought they won. On the map. Fuck, that sucks. Damn it. Ah, oh, I can't use an S. There's his high ear waffle. Ten <laughs> seconds remaining. What? Damn it. I don't fucking know. Unfortunately, That's for Wyoming. Oh, damn. Round, I was thinking awesome like Casper Island. Damn it. That's what happens when I was gonna go pee. I thought, I thought they fucking won the little thingy. Son of a bitch. 
Still the wiener. I'm still the wiener. What's up the difficulty? Twat waffle. Oh, okay. That makes much sense. <laughs> I didn't even do a very good job on easy, but I still won. So that means we go up to the next level of difficulty. Yeah. From Sony Picture Studios, it's America's Game. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for yeah. tonight's hosts? Are you ready to rumble? Three o'clock in my time. here well it, it doesn't say much why don't you tell us about yourself hmm. i'm andrew fay i love long walks on the beach and, uh, what is this guy looks quite interesting jack you, you don't look like it's jack how are you doing claire look like no i don't claire either that as a great get ready for the toss-up the category on this one is late <laughs> Place. Something. Are you ready to solve contestant number one? Chip. <laughs> Something logging road. I don't fucking know. Oh, muddy logging read. Muddy logging road. Contestant number three. Go ahead and solve. Damn it. Fuck you, Claire. It's time to start another toss-up round for $2,000. The category is phrase. It looks like you're a dime a dozen. Goal. Damn it. Contestant number three. Should I keep smiling for the It's like when I watch it on TV, I always get it okay. right after they buzz her in. This round started. The category is person. Contestant number three. You're up first, so take a spin. Oh, you dirty bitch. $2,500. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, I didn't get better, but just a free play. play. You have a free Still uh, kicking So take day. another spin. Oh, I should have done Val. That's free when it's free play. Damn it. I'm stupid. We have one S. <laughs> God damn it. That's Last step on a free Val. That dumb shit. Oh, waffle. Kit, whatever the fuck that means. 
Let's buy a pal. You can certainly Let's buy throw an A out yeah. there. One A. Only one, huh? Well, fine. Go fuck yourself. Friends, we come from friends. Better than no R's. Wow. And I get to go to France. You want to go bankrupt? I lose my trips too. Six hundred. Mm. We have one. Well, that's a healthy amount to add. One nice little roll here. So I guess T next, for obvious reasons. <clears throat> 600. Yes, we have some T's. Two T's. T T's. Well, that is a healthy amount to add to your winnings tonight. That's a healthy amount. Let's go ahead and finish off the... Yes, we have some E's. Threes. Nice. Nice vile belly. Person. Um, something, uh, something, 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 something. <laughs> go that far. What? I don't know what I did there. That was weird. I can, I can peek up other stuff. Look at this shit. President of the Twat Waffle. Look at that. It's still no bankrupt. I'm amazed. Yes, we have some keys. President of the... God damn it. The fucking last word is seven hundred. We have one B. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. You can certainly buy a. We have one. Only one. Come on, help me out with that fucking last word. President of the company. Oh, good call. That I waited. Like you're ready to solve. Good job. God damn. How can I? Oh, I hate it when that shit happens. <laughs> when I watch it on TV, though, I'm much better. Much better. God damn. I feel retarded. Good, good pull there, Michael. Wow, yeah. that is incredible. How did you come up with that? Uh, my friend Michael Long in the Steve, chat. We'll okay. be in France. Take a stroll down the Champs Elysees, a trip to the top of the Eiffel Tower, or visit the which Louis is what 327 meters tall. <laughs> it's $7, we don't want to keep our contestants waiting any longer, so let's start the game. Contestant number one, why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? I'd like to solve. No, I'm just kidding. 
phrase. Oh no! Uh, why do you say oh no? We have one S. Well, now the internet's being gay. Are you Imagine interested that. in taking a gamble on the mystery wedge? There's a chance you could go bankrupt, but you also have a chance to win ten thousand dollars. I have balls. Wow. Yeah. You'll be going home happy tonight. Yeah. No, four hundred twenty-seven meters down. <laughs> It's going to be close. Get over there! Yeah! <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, C. Yes, we have some C. Nice. Well, that's a fair bit of cash you picked up. That was a like, little feely spinner thing. Let's buy that. I'm sure you can uh, buy wow. Not a single one. Not a single A up in that bitch. Wasted some money. We didn't even get to spin the fucking wheel. You hit big with thirty-five hundred dollars. Will we get any help on That's this? That's funny shit. It seems we're out of luck. Come on, let's go. Boo! Yes, we have some caves. That's a lot of money you won there. Nicks. Don't you fucking do it. Someone Damn is it. lucky today. We could have another one million dollar winner soon. No, we don't see Ah! Knox. Yikes. Oh, yikes. I didn't fucking lose a turn, bitch. Yes, we have some ends. Oh, nice. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of well, that's money. That three-letter word is not hand. <laughs> Let's go ahead and if throw that. Like oh, to buy there. Just make sure that's so Yes, we have some O's. A lot of those. Something docks, something wants. Hmm. A half a car! Give me the front half. Fucking three I know must be excited, so hop in that car and drive, but we still have some of the show left, so hang on. That's a long first word. Are we gonna make it? Yes, we are gonna make it. Will we get any no else? God damn you, you son of a bitch. But, oh. <laughs> All right, well, now we got to figure out the long ass fucking word. You've certainly got the money. You have one E. <laughs> Opportunity knocks but once. Got it. Uh, uh, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. Hopefully she didn't hear me. You didn't hear me give the answer. 800. We have one R. I guess you'll be paying for Come on, let me play, bitch. Let me play, bitch. Not the chain, not the one. Hey, bro. Damn it. 900. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. 
five, four, two, it. Yeah! Be, to be, be honest, be. I wasn't yeah. sure how you were going to solve this one. You're in your oh, I didn't even see right that now. first part. Which, oh, so you got it, Michael. <laughs> I didn't see that first part of that chat. Opportunity not to go Category is event. <laughs> Good job, Michael. I'll give you the credit on that one. Why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? <laughs> My man. Wild card. We have one D. That's the event. You got that wild card for If you'd like to buy a vowel, yes, we have some A's. Saturday. Saturday. Wow. No, because it's not Saturday, because it's A. Wow. Every day. Every day? Yes, we have some bees. No. Birthday. That's a fair bit of cash she picked up. Birthday celebration. Ouch. Bankrupt is always a painful one. Pretty sure it's birthday celebration, but I'm going to risk it and spin and just pick C to make sure that that's for a celebration. Don't fucking burn. Okay. 500. We have one set. Right. Don't go Birthday all celebration. out at once now. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Pretty proud of that one. Birthday celebration. Yeah, so that was a good one. I was yeah, a lot of letters in that one. Good job, because now you're going to Japan. Well, I get to go to Japan again. So I got to go to France and go Japan. To the Far East. Are we ready for another toss-up round? The amount is three thousand dollars, and the category is in the kitchen. <clears throat> in the kitchen. Cooking. Freaking glasses. I pushed it first, you fucking thunder cunt. <sighs> Cheating ass, man. I think it's time to start this round. The okay, category baby. is rhyme time. So this is the game we're going to play before Christmas. The game is called Chunky Monkey. Oh, well, cool. Looks like we get a little practice round here for you. All right, then. Well, I'll keep playing, then. Do we have any of those? No, I'm sorry. Was it rhyme time? Oh shit, okay. Yes, we have some A's. Remember I can do vowels. <laughs> Contestant number one, would you like to solve? No. We have one U. So it rhymes. For chance to solve. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Well, then, Michael, we could have played Will of Fortune a long time ago. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Let's go with it. 
Kentucky. No, we don't seem to have any of those. Uh, Vowels aren't always in there. Have any of those? No, I'm sorry. We have one. Why? Good job. Keep that going, and you'll be heading That sounds like an interesting game. Contestant number three, would you like to solve? Something your something. We have one O. Contestant number one, your chance. I'm not even gonna pretend. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Hmm. So I haven't watched this show in a long time. I mean, I should fit these live streams. Well, glad to help you out. Oh, okay, we're getting close here on the rhyming words. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Train your brain. We have one okay. team. Don't go and spend all. Well, we'd like to solve. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Yeah, pull that out of my booty hole. <laughs> wow, that is incredible! How did you come up with that? Well, you see, I use my brain because I train my brain. That's how I did it. I train my Our brain. Lucky contestant looks eager to start the bonus round. So All right now, I don't have to pee, so I can actually do it this time. Please follow me over here. Is it? Cold chill. Food and drink. I think you know the letters R, S, T, L, N, and E. Let's see what kind of help you can get. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pick three more consonants and a vowel. That look easy. Only one letter. Watermelon. Only a limited time, so good luck and solve. What am I doing? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Watermelon. Watermelon. Time is running low. Only ten seconds remaining. I don't fucking know. Watermelon taku. <laughs> Watermelon taffy. Damn it. Going home empty handed. Ah. That hurts. Damn it. Fucking taffy. If I would have just picked that letter F, then it would have been, been in like sin. Level 14 warrior unlocked some clothes. I can buy me a new dress. I love to go. <laughs> right? Let's just rematch. Fuck it.
That's, that seemed like a level level playing field there. Ladies and gentlemen, are you We're against Charlotte and Chloe this time. Oh, I'm going to try to impress the ladies. A little three-way action at the machine. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. How are you doing today? It says here. Oh, well, yeah. It doesn't Maybe. say much. Why don't you tell and, us? And nerdy yourself? train. <laughs> it's time for a toss up round for $1,000. $1 billion. Strawberry jam session. Are you ready to solve contestant number one? Yeah, want to do a jam session? How about a strawberry jam session? Category on this one is. Fun and games. <laughs> My favorite flavor is cherry tequila. You know, I'm a strawberry guy. You know, I don't like real strawberries, but strawberry tequila, let's get you. Fun and games. Today, bear. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Giant teddy bear. God damn it. Ooh. Damn you, Chloe. No sense in hanging around here. Let's go ahead and get going. At least I finally got one of these little open round around. things. The category is Ugh. food and drink. Contestant number three, why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? Ugh. Ha! Right off the bat, bankrupt. Wow, I'm very sorry. Just try to keep positive. You know you didn't have any money in a bankrupt. You still lose your turn. Wild stallions. Yes, we have some S's. Maybe three S's. Wow. Go ahead and take that one. Sesame seed buns. Eh, I should buy it back. Get over there. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Since there's some S's, let's see if there's some H's. No H's. Shit. That's not triumphant. <laughs> Did you see uh, the third Bill and Ted? Bill and Ted face the music. I want to tell the theater. That was pretty good. A nice trilogy. Maybe Bill and Ted Box. We well, already have the first two. So never mind. Five hundred. We have one M. No, I haven't. Great it's good. Job. If you like the first two, it's a nice little ending. And the daughters were really good. Five fifty. Do we have any of those? No, I'm sorry. I have a feeling eventually though it's gonna be in like a five dollar bin. I'll expect that. It's a free play. It's a free, a free play. play so take another step. Yes, we have some beans. That's a lot of money you won there. Food and drink. Okay, time to solve here. Think about Bill and Ted. Lost my focus. <laughs> Something mustard. What vowel would you like? Yes, we have some A's. Shit. 
600. Yes, we have some arms. Good job. Saute mustard. <laughs> I want to remind you that you have the ability to use that wild card. You can certainly buy a vowel. What would you like? Yes, we have some use. I feel sauteed though. <laughs> Dollar Tree, yeah. I forget there was even a Dollar Tree in I still haven't even been to it. It's been open for like two years now. You have that wild card if you'd like to buy a saute. Okay, I was, I was thinking it was easy. Oh, look at that sauteed mushroom greens. <laughs> Goodbye, Valor. <laughs> nice. Wow, that is incredible. How did you come up with that? Well, I bought a vowel and it kind of revealed the rest to me. Standing here, I'm ready to get the show started. I think it's time to start this round. The category is. Never heard of sauteed mustard greens, but. Contestant number one. Why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? That base two on the ruby. I do like I do like the VHS. Seven hundred. I mean, third one was definitely the worst. But I liked the new one. Yes, we have some S's. Well, mainly the uh, funeral home skit with the tornado. I thought that was really cool. What vowel would you like? We have one A. Only one A. All right, go fuck yourself. <clears throat> Francois Prize. going back to France. Well, if I can get this, yes, we have ah. some teas. Wow, going back to France. Would they hit the Americans? Five fifty. Five fifty. Wow, not no a seats. single one on the board. I'm he said, sure. See you later. I don't know. Apparently, it's the front half of the car. I know you must be excited to go hop in the car and drive, but we still have some of the show left, so hang on. What vowel would you like? Yes, we have some eyes. Mm. 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 800. Yes, we have some agents. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. Right, something light. Six fifty. We have one each. Don't go and spend all that at once now. Hmm. Right. 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 Lights. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. The only Blu-ray that they have was Anchorman. I have that on Blu-ray. That was an unlucky spin. Hmm. 
No more vowels, apparently. It's that fucking signal. Seven hundred. Yes, we have some R. Bright, sparkling lights. Don't forget you have that wild card. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? Yeah. I uh, look at me go. Bright sparkling lights. <laughs> look at Vegas just, just creeping in the creeping in the corner and then chiming in. One lucky winner will be coming with us. If you're here at the right time, as it's time for the prize round. Three movies from the Belgium of the week. That's a bit excessive. The category is showbiz. Showbiz. That's a new category. Why don't you go ahead and take Ooh, there's a lot of letters. I saw a period. Oh, God. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. I'm sorry. Well, obviously, that that one's an initial. I mean, it's an initial, so it's a name. Five hundred. Right. I'm sorry, you think. there are none on the board. I've never seen seventy movies there before. <laughs> are they telling me there's no vows? Are they just not letting me buy? Oh, because I don't have any money. <laughs> Six fifty. Yes, we have some S's. Don't go spend that all at once now. Just a quick Don't go spend that all at once. Now. And you can you certainly got the money. Only one out. So I was wrong on what that's one word is with the the book and asses. Yeah, apparently they about every single movie that they had available. <laughs> I feel like an H. Yep, yep, yep. That's a lot of money. I need to remember Let's buy another vow. Let's see if an A is There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snaps. Something, something, snaps. Something, 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 snaps. Snap, snap, snap. I'll guess in next to see if I'm right. With the free play? Hey, a free play. I can buy a vowel for no money. What vowel would you like? Yes, Just we have so Hey, look at that. Hmm. Still no fuck with it. Yeah. Yes, we have some in. Well, I was wrong on that one. Don't go and spend all that at once now. As always, I want to remind you that you have the ability to use that wild card. Vincent. So what's the, is it, would that be J, Hanson? Six fifty. We have one J. That's a lot of hmm. money you want there. Just a quick reminder now. Have a while. Traji P. Henson. Okay, well, I got the name. 
like to buy a value? Yes, we have some eyes. Charlie P. Hansen. An empire. Traji P. Hanson blanks an empire. What does she do in empire? Traji P. Hanson sucks an empire. <laughs> Just missing one fucking one. Would you like to use it? Slays an empire. Don't you do it, don't you? Okay. You hit big with thirty five hundred dollars. Yes, we have some R's. Oh, Traji Pants and Stars and Empire. <laughs> Slays, you like that? Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Oh, man. What a fucking brain fart. I got Traji like Pants. <laughs> Go ahead. I can't believe I can't figure out Stars and. Oh, my God. Good grief, Batman. <laughs> I was pretty sure you were gonna get that one. Uh, Good job. Because now you're damn. going to Japan. We're Star going to the Far East. Take a journey yep. to Japan. Enjoy the entertainment <laughs> Damn. Out all the it's time for a toss-up round for three thousand dollars. Sing. Contestant number one, please solve. Chronological sequence. Chronological. <laughs> I always got a sound out there. We got it. Here goes one. Spin the wheel, spin. Pat. Oh yeah, I can do vows. So let's just start with A. Unfortunately, there are no, no A's. All right. Well, that vow can fuck off. Will we get any help on this? It seems. Oh, I'm cute, okay, so it's okay. Oh, not a single one on the board. I'm <laughs> she did the same fucking pose. Yes, we have some E's. Hmm. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Nope. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. <laughs> silly me. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. Well, oh, silly me too. We have one S. Great job. That's quite a bit of cash in your pocket. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? No. We have one U. U! She just thumbed it. Contestant number two, would you like to solve? Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. Hmm. 
So I said all the contestants are wearing glasses, right? Yes, we have some eyes. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? No. Do we have We're all a bunch of four-eyed nerds. No. I'm and those two just think they're just so cute. Yes, we have some deeds. That's a lot Ooh, of money. All right. Let's see. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Yes, we have some G. Good job. Keep that going and you'll be heading home a winner tonight. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? The fuck's that first one? Mugged? Lugged? Nugged? Rugged? 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 Rugged hillside? I'm going to try it. Ah, and if you just sit and think and then just say words in your head, to you'll be win honest, that much I wasn't business. Sure how you were going to solve this one. <laughs> okay, I need that to do. I'm looking at this now. Eager to start the bonus round, so let's get over there. Yeah. So buff, I broke the rule. Give me that AF. Yes. All right. I'm gonna ask skip this one, goddammit. With that laugh at Tammy. With that laugh at Tammy. In the kitchen. All right, we got this. Let's see what kind of help you can get. I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and pick three more consonants and a vowel. As always, I want to remind you that you have the ability to use that wild card. Wow, you made that look easy. Damn it. Standing. Only a limited time, so good luck and solve. Standing. I got it. It's Rugged Hillside. <laughs> Standing. In the kitchen. Standing. Standing. Shit. Come on, standing. Standing diner? Nope. It's not diner because I can't pick D. Ten seconds remaining. You got quite a bit of money. Oh! About missing out on the bonus. Damn. I almost accidentally guessed it, but then I ran out of time. <laughs> Damn it, I still haven't gotten one of those. Standing mixer. Shit. Damn. Some of the showcases, you gotta pick the letters that you don't usually find in words, like X's and Q's and W's and all that shit. Look, I got new pants, new skinny jeans, oh my god. 
Expanding mixer. Oh yeah, now you chime in. I was sitting here watching the chat, waiting for it to pop up, but I ran out of time. All right, let's have the difficulty. Hard. Black. You should have just said Taku again. <laughs> well, obviously it was wrong. It wasn't a standing Taku. It's a standing mixer. I luckily guessed that him and I just fucking ran out of time. The fuck's a standing mixer anyway? Ladies and gentlemen, here are the <clears throat> stars of America's game. Hello, everyone. How are you? Like how these fucking little force people come up with these phrases and shit is just Why don't you tell us about beyond me. Thank you for joining us today. Your outfit looks well. Hello, Sydney. You must oh, that was accidental. How are you doing today? Hello, Sydney. Well, I'll take that as a great. <laughs> and then Emily. Sure you're ready to get started. If I lose, then I hope Sydney wins. She's had a rough life. She's had two Same killers try to kill her multiple times for five sequels now. Or five movies, four sequels. Same name. It looks like you're ready to solve contestant number one. Sigourney and what weaver? Sigourney and basket weaver. Oh, bam, mic drop. Look at me go. New sweater. Yeah, I keep unlocking shit. Might as well, right? But look at that. Sigourney and Basket Weaver. How you like All we need for them to toss up round? Mm -hmm. The amount mm -hmm. is $2,000, and the category is occupation. Pretty proud of myself on that one. Occupation. Are you ready to start? I pushed it! Fuck you! Well, I think it's time to take our places. Sydney's still broke. Ready to start. I think it's time to start this round. The See, if I lose, like I said, if I lose, I want Sydney to win. Not in the number three. Why don't you go ahead and take the first spin? Would you like to destroy my sweater whoa 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 Thank oh, this thread as i walk away as i walk away oh my turn bada boom five hundred five hundred Things. Yes, we have some S's. Cold chill again. Go this is a little chilly, and I think it's like 30 degrees outside. I don't have a heater, so it's like 50 in here. Let's go ahead and buy a valve. Let's go and throw an A out there. One a. Hey, only one. Uh, that's kind of a waste of money, but it's okay. Spin that wheel. Yikes. Yikes. Ah, clearly passed bankrupt. No yikesing. We have one R. Hmm. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. EG, no, dinosaur something. Got the first one. Pretty one to lose that. That is 37. We're supposed to warm up to like 80 on uh, Wednesday. Fucking crazy. 80 in the middle of December. The start of winter, because it's December 22nd. 
We have one. Okay, so the first one is dinosaur. Dino DNA. Great job. That's quite a bit of cash in your pocket now. Dinosaur bones. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? I will. Thanks to this team that I have here. Got dinosaur though. Okay. Yeah. To be honest, I wasn't sure how to Gotta count the letters. You can't do nuggets if you want to beat the we monkey business thingy. Waiting any longer, <laughs> so let's start the game. Let's get this round. I, don't so I, I got the hard word, so I'm I'm better than you, Michael V. number one. Go ahead and take the first spin. Get some late night viewers. Hello, uh, new viewers. All right, spin. Four a.m. Jesus, you guys are the really would be soldiers. Ah, six hundred. Ah. Good old S. Will we get any? Oh, on this? dirty dick. It seems we're out of luck. Sweep is for the week. I gotta stay up anyway because I gotta oh, stay up till seven. Watch the Formula One race while I FaceTime with my kid because it's like the big championship. We're going to Formula One here. I'm watching this. Oh, put me to sleep in. 650. Don't go and spend all that at once. Nuggets was for some loser that we used to hang out with. Yes, we have some ends. We got some ends. Oh, I didn't even see what the category is. What are you doing? All right. I'm singing in the rain. Nope, not singing. <laughs> you can certainly buy a vowel. No, we don't seem to have any no of those. those. Okay. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> My name is Mega Cunt. No, we don't, I don't know why I want to have any of those. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are none on I'm the buy board. an A when I get a chance for that obvious one letter there. Hopefully it fills out some more. Oh no! Oh, oh no, when you know it's going fast enough. There are Come on, on Pat. Yep. Mega metal miserable mega gun. Oh, I can't buy that because I have no money. Told Chris to uh, happy Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving, but no response. Whatever. All right. Yes, we have some R. Hey. Well, what's the three letter word that is with R? For what are you doing? R. Wow. You've hey. certainly got the money. Yes, we have some A's. Is it bar, car, bar, car? Get out of there! Nine hundred. We have one. Okay, so it's car. 
great job. That's quite a bit of cash in your pocket now. Uh. Well, it should be solvable by now. I'm failing. We have one D. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. Mm -hmm. Something a brand new car. <laughs> what vowel would you like? Yeah, I've got the brand new car part, but what's that first one? We have one E. Just one E. Okay. Buying a brand new car. God damn. It's always a simple fucking word, too, that I get stuck on. It sounds like you're ready to solve. Go ahead. Jesus. But hey, I'm so proud of myself because it's on hard. Yeah, yeah. I got that right now. Bye. <laughs> I am speechless. Did you just pull that out of thin air? No, it was literally right there. We have a prize round now. The winner of this round will also be getting a free prize. Are you all ready? The category a free prize? Person. Out of the prize box? In person. person. Number two, go ahead and take the first spin. Papa's got a brand new bag. You get a half a car. Nobody's completed a car yet, though. Wow, got the two not halves. a single one on the board. Uh, she didn't get one half, so she's stupid. I mean, Sydney, you're great. You've been through some trauma, but it'll be okay. Five I'm here for you after the show. Will we get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. I think when he said it on easy is when you get bankrupt. Like, oh, I spoke. No, come, oh, well, come on. One million dollars. Come on, oh, S. Like come you. on, trusty S. We have one. Yeah. Don't go bankrupt. Oh, let's solve this before I go bankrupt. Oh, now my choice. We have one R. I got a half a car! And a million dollars. So I'll just use my million dollars to buy the other half, so. You've certainly got the money, so we have one A. One A. Person. Person. Person, we have one team. Stuart, Stuart. Let's make sure it's certainly Stuart. got the money. So go ahead and will we get any help on it's not Stuart. We're out of luck. It's not stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's my half of the car. Yes, we have Damn it. I know you must be excited to go hop in that car and drive, but we still All right, let's have solve this bitch. So hang on. If you'd like to buy a bomb, we have one. Oh. We can certainly buy a vowel. Yes, we have some E's. Steady. Oh, 
this one really sick. Oh, it's probably like a lot of patience. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like you won't be going home with that today. Ah, you dirty bitch. It's a free play. You have a free play, so take another spin. Yes, we have some wines. Don't go spend that all at once. Okay. Steady boyfriend. Test at number three. Please Damn it. Because it's on hard. Damn it. Still get to keep my million, all right? I always forget how well it's going work. I was pretty sure you were going to get that one. Good job. Oh, shut up. We're going to the We're trying to get our pants. Journey to Japan. It's time to start another toss-up round. For our free prize was Japan. Category is in the kitchen. <clears throat> in the kitchen we're dying. Oh, it's this shit. Okay. Pull up. Contestant number one, go ahead. Drawer full of coupons. Bam! Suck it. It's almost a tricky pan, right? Drawer full of coupons. My grandma had that drawer. Here goes one last spin. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I can do vows. Hey. Yes, we have some A's. Mm. Contestant number one. Your chance to solve. No, we don't seem to have any of those. Damn, Sydney, you suck. You are way too traumatized. One, yes. That's a fair bit of fun she picked up. Contestant number three, would you like to solve? <clears throat> Oops. We have one O. Only one O. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. No, definitely not ready to solve. Yes, we have some I. Contestant number two, your chance to solve. Yes, we have some N. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Contestant number three, paying. your chance to solve. Wow, not a single ah, one. So it's not paying. Board. Wow, not a single one on the board. I'm sorry. We have one G. That's a lot of money you won. Not saying, because the S's are up there. Contestant number three, would you like to solve? Um... No, we don't seem to have Damn. any of those. We have one page. Having. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that, lady. Good job, Sydney. Contestant number two. Would you like to solve? Having. We have one page. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Contestant number three, your chance to solve. Having something for dinner. We have one B. 
Great job. That's quite a What are we having for dinner? Question number one, would you like to solve? Fuck. What is that fucking word? Yes, we have some E. Contestant number two, would you like to solve? We have one T. That's a lot of money you won there. Contestant number three, would you like to solve? Having breakfast for dinner. We have one B. Got it. Oh, look at me. Breakfast. Yep. You got it. Contestant number one. Your like chance we were, to solve. We were one. United. Breakfast for dinner. Which is always wow. Good. That is incredible. How did you come up with that? Again, the posse. Help me out. I'm linked. We're one the same. Our lucky contestant looks. Look at that. Even on hard, I made it to the fucking. Get over there. I don't know, but let's fucking get it this time. God damn it. I'm going to ask you to come with me now. Place. Contestant, we will give you the typical letters R, S, T, L, N, and E. Contestant, would you please choose three consonants? Wow, you made that look easy. Vacation. We only have a short amount of time, so go ahead and solve. Vacation. No, it's not time. Vacation home. Yeah, there we go. Vacation home. Nice. We're finally going to win one. Damn it. Just don't push the wrong letter. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Would you stop telling people to buy dinner? Fuck. I'm not buying anybody dinner. Well, I'll buy Sydney some dinner. That's all right. <laughs> Ooh, some new glasses and some jean shorts. Nice. And on hard. When we do it on hard, we win it all. Fucking A. And one more round. One more round and probably call it night. <clears throat> so I'm getting a little hungry. <laughs> gotta get ready for the Formula One race. Probably should have ended with a bang like that. But no, I want to end with two bangs. How are you? Two bangs. Good to see so many. Two bangs in the gee. Two bangs in the room. Whoa, did you see the dude with the cool shirt? I need to update my dude's outfit. It says here, well, it, it doesn't say much. How are you doing? Yeah, oh, he's got a cool well, Wheel of Fortune right as a great. I'm sure you're ready to Look get this started. Guy. Thank you for joining us today. Definitely got to beat this guy. Interested. These two people have punchable faces. Let's start a toss up round for $1,000. So, time to whip their ass.
food and drink. Something mixed. <laughs> Contestant number three. I pushed it. God damn it. It's like every, every time I push Let's it, I'm going to give it sounds like I'm pushing it right at the same exact fucking time. Are you ready to solve? Not really sure. Shit. Contestant number three. <laughs> Don't know. Under my tool. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Gabriel. Let's get going. Let's get this round started. The category is what are you doing? Contestant Fucking number fallen three, angel bastard. Go ahead and take the first spin. Don't look like no fallen angel. <clears throat> 700. Yes, we have some L's. Don't go spend that all at once now. Shut up. I guess you're gonna tell him to buy dinner. It's so close. Eight hundred. Yes, we have some S's. Don't go and spend all that at once now. <laughs> if you'd like to buy a bow, yes, we have some eyes. Don't raise the roof. He... What vowel would you like? I have a cousin named Gabriel. Well, we call him Bo. Lord, I'm sorry. At least the family does. Everybody else calls him Gabe. Six hundred. We have one R. Something with my sister. <laughs> oh, God. It's been a while since I went bankrupt, though, so I'll give him that. Damn it. I wanted to guess a T to make sure that word is sister. Tonight? Hmm. What would I be doing with my sister? Well, you don't do an Arkansas. 550. We have one G. Not bad. You've got quite a bit of money now. You got quite a bit of money. You got the money. No, we don't. Ha ah, ha. Waste money. your money, bitch. Don't you oh, fuck it, oh, you oh, son of a bitch. Man. Here we go again. That's about as as I got cocky and was like, let's do one more so we can bang it out twice. And it's like, no, nope, we're just going to keep bankrupting you. This is close. 650. Do we have any of those? No, oh, shuckies. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. Supposed to be on my side path. Cheer for me. None on the board. I'm sorry. Can we go for three in a row on bankrupt? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, almost did. Yes, we have some tea. Damn. That's Maybe sitting my little way. sister. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the answer? I am. Whoops. Bam! That's how I roll. I am speechless. Did you just pull that out of the yeah, just pull it out of my ass? Just like you were about to say. What are you doing? This round started with the first spin. Okay. Five fifty. Good old S. Unfortunately, that's Man, not, not a good old S. Made me an ass. Nine hundred. Yes, we have some ends. Don't go and spend that all that once. are kicking my ass. You can certainly buy a vibe. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. Uh, what happens when you fucking kiss ass with a little fortune shirt? Oh, a little fortune shirt. Bankrupt. <laughs> Ouch. Bankrupt is always a painful one. Take that, Gabe. No! Okay. You hit big with thirty-five hundred dollars. Hmm. We have one chain. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. I guess we pay for dinner tonight. <laughs> like you do. Cash, so yes, we have some time. It's my half a car. Yes, we have some M's. Look at that. Wow, good job. Hang on tight and that car could be yours. Hmm. Telling me how much your dinner is going to be off the dollar menu, right? Yes, we have some seeds. Good job. Keep that going. You'll be getting you almost it. If you'd like to buy a vowel, you can do that. Yes, we have some O's. Microwave. Get over there. Damn it. Yes, we have some arms. Wow, go ahead and take that one. Warming my. Remind you that you have a chance to use your wild. 
something in the microwave. You've certainly got the money. Yes, we have some eggs. Warming my something in our microwave? No. In the microwave. Warming my something in the microwave. If you'd like to buy a yes, we have some ease. Warming my coffee in the microwave. God damn. It sounds like you're ready to solve. Go ahead. I don't drink coffee, so I'm gonna use that as an excuse as to why it took me so long to solve that bitch. <laughs> wow, that is Whoa. incredible! How did you come up with that? Hey, I got both my cars. I got I got a whole car. Good luck to all the contestants. It's time for the prize round. The winner will be getting a special prize on top of the cash. The category is same name. Contestant number two, why don't you go Same ahead and take name. the first spin. So it's that Sibling Weaver category. Yeah. <laughs> bankrupt, bankrupt, bankrupt. No! Someone is lucky today. We could have another $1 million winner soon. We have one. Jay Bitch. Fantastic. You must be very happy right now. I know I would be. One well, million on this side. <laughs> I drink iced coffee. I don't like any coffee. I don't like that flavor of you coffee. Big with 30 like I hate Heath bars. No, we don't fans. seem to have any of those. Weird to me. The only hot liquid that I like to drink is, is hot chocolate. Hot keep chocolate. moving, keep moving. 600. <laughs> yes, we have some teas. Same name. That's a fair bit of cash you picked up. You point at his nipples. Got the money. Yes, we like, have I've got two nipples. nipples, and here they are. Baker, Baker, Baker. Oh, I was looking at the wrong arrow. Damn it. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. Uh -huh. You're a chode. Vibration so hard it sounds like the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Five hundred like the T Rex. Yes, we have some H's. That's a fair bit of cash you pick up. Mm. As always, I want to remind you that you have the ability to use that wild card. If you'd like to buy a vowel, you've got the cash, so what would you like? Yes, we have some O's. What the fuck is that for? Mm. Five hundred. A carton, huh? It's interesting. I haven't even guessed yes yet. We have oh, and well, that's why. Son of a I'm bitch. Seven hundred. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. If you'd like to buy a vowel, yes, we have some A's.
Hmm. This one's took me a little bit. It's like they're there, but I just can't. I'm sorry, there are none on the board. It tastes like a Reese's cup. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't where I was thinking the beat was going to be. So, Blank the Beaten and Something Path. What the fuck is that first word? Off. Oh. Uh, <laughs> off the Beaten and Something Path. Yes, we have some apps. That's a fair bit of cash. I just want to remind you that you have a chance to use your wild card. So tell me to use my wild card, fucker. Okay. my wild card for the end! That's about so it. get that extra letter in there in the little fucking final game thing. But damn it, when you bankrupt me, you might not let me get to use it. Bankrupt always shows up right when you're about to solve the fucking puzzle, too. With $3,500. Yes, we have some ends. No small amount of cash there to help you out. Contestant number two, your chance to Damn it. Beaten jogging path. You dirty dick dog. Michael. <laughs> I was pretty sure you were going to get that one. Good job, though, because now you are going to Japan. It looks just like you, too. We're going to the Far East. Take a journey to Japan. It's time for a toss up round. For what? The mystery gift was Japan. And then he's going to tell you to buy dinner there. Are you ready to Damn solve contestant number three? A perfect day. You cock. Yeah, come on. I want to get in the final thing at least. Food and drink. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh. Here goes one last spin. Your spins are weak, Pat. Yes, we have some aids. Nice start, nice start. Food and drink. Contestant number three, would you like to solve? Mm. Yes, we have some aids. Contestant number one, your chance to solve. Hmm. Yes, we have some S's. A can of. Contestant number two, your chance to solve. Of assorted. Will we get any help on this? It seems we're out of luck. A can of assorted. Yes, we have some R. That's a lot of money you won there. Contestant number one. Which Can of assorted one? Easter. Can of assorted Easter.
God damn it. I can't think of that last word, though. Easter. Hmm. Can was sorted Easter. Ten seconds remaining. Fuck. Dabba dabba doobie. You heard the buzzer. That means time is up. Yes, we have some tea. It's that fucking last word. Contestant number Easter. Easter. Unfortunately, that's not what we need. Dinosaur is Easter. What's something Easter? We have one C. Oh, it's not a can. Contestant number one, would you like to solve? A blank of a sort of Easter candy. That's not it. A bag. Oh, good call. Nice with the save there. I was stuck on that fuck on first one. Shit, time's running out. Assorted Easter candy. Nice. Big call. See, it's always the simple fucking words that fuck me up. I am speechless. Did you just pull like, out I can get Travis the answer, but I can't get Star. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's, let's, let's win again. Let's, let's get back to back. Good. <clears throat> to finish off the night. Nice six hour stream here. I think I still have a wild card too. I'm gonna ask you to come with me now. Fun and games. We can give you the letters R, S, T, L, N, and B. E. So let's see what shows up. Would you please choose three consonants and a vowel? Wow, you made that look easy. Clash Royale. We only have a short amount of time, so go ahead and solve. I guess you'll be paying for dinner tonight. Dinner's on me, motherfucker. <laughs> ah, damn. Right away at the end of the night. Good old game show streaming. I was gonna do stream tomorrow night, but now I have to go do something for a birthday party, so I doubt I'll be able to do that. So probably uh, Thursday will be the next stream. Because my mom's off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I can't share the internet with her because then I'll have bad internet. So Thursday will probably be the next stream. I don't know what it'll be, but. Probably be Christmas theme, something like one of the streams. So it's just the final week before Christmas. So I'll do something Christmas themed. 
Yeah. Yeah, that was good stuff. That was fun. He must not pay much if he's always asking if he's paying for that. I know, right? And it's always 34 fucking grand every time. But look at that. Now walk away. 96 G's. Nice. That was good. I'll have to do that again with the little wheel picker. And then figure out other things to integrate the wheel picker. Dang it. Well, I'm going to make me something, something to eat and get ready to watch Formula One racing. It's been fun as always. Thanks for hanging out, Michael. You're always the, the real repeat because just like me, you don't sleep. I wish I could do earlier streams. I might be able to do like an all day stream like on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day because I think my mom's gone to her sister or something. Not sure. But, yeah. Have a good rest of your day. It's almost 6 o'clock for your ass. Um, yeah. And I'll check you later. Uh.